and welcome subscribers and non-subscribers we're Dysylvania a bunch of level geeks from Romania who play D&D and who would love if you'd hit that subscribe button we see you those 50% people who don't subscribe it will help us a lot and the YouTube algorithm to push our content forward uh, this is episode 23 of Vim the Tale of Immortality our fantasy homebrew world that needs your support and your comments so please drop one in the in the chat below and uh, share your thoughts uh, miss the last episode do not worry you have the book of recollections with podcasts like recaps right here in the i button and uh, i am your pleading dm carla georgescu and let's introduce today's surprise player bogdan hello yeah. what a surprise and karina Hiya, bitches. <laughs> and uh, rooks hi and uh, finally paul hello and without any further ado, let's do, go and jump in today's adventure of Vim, the tale of immortality. start with a small, secluded pool, but not inside the midnight forest as one would uh, think so, but inside of a chapel, inside of the midnight chapel, confused, naked, well almost naked, and concentrated, you, Kate, are kneeling down preparing to perform this sacred ritual to commune with uh, Lunai, the deity of the moon, the seventh astral. And what inside this midnight chapel, in Greenspring, ladies and gentlemen, in Greenspring, where the atmosphere is calm, almost serene. It is the night of Martis, but not for long because at midnight, it will change into the day of Mercury. And with the soft glowing of the pool, Kate, what do you do? I'm just thinking to myself, I don't, I don't even know if I'm doing this right. I don't even know if I should be here. But what all options do I have, really? I don't have anybody to trust now. Not entirely. What do I have to lose? Um, so you're preparing to do the ritual. You close your eyes and you whisper to Luna, I what? You're asking her for what? Hey, Luna, I know it's been a while, but you know, the world has been to shit, basically, so... Yeah, if you just want to chat, I'm here. Um, as you say this, um, the water starts turning and churning and swifting. Then it stops. Eerie stillness and on the face of the, the pool, it's a mirror-like surface. And inside, as you kneel down, you see not uh, your reflection, but another's. You see sharp point features and a mane of red long hair. Uh, you see your friend chirruping at someone carrying a night elf that's familiar in her arms 
he seems unconscious. You see Jen and Leo instead of your only reflection. But as this all happens, in the meantime, we turn to a new individual that is walking under the moonlit trees inside of the midnight forest. What does your character look like, Bogdan? Look like? My character has a uh, man bun, um, and um, he um, has a beard. Um, he has he has an armor, but over his armor he has some nice clothes. Uh, he carries a loot, a sword, and a shield. Um, and his whistling through the forest. Um, and you walk a little bit in the in the forest, and you walk and you walk, and you stumble at a point on a shadowy figure that greets you with a grin. Uh, you recognize him. His uh, the stranger that you met in the, in the tavern, and uh, he says. Come, I've been expecting you. Your uh, music uh, is uh, well. Are you prepared? Uh, I'm always ready, sir. Uh, is your wife ready? That's my question. Uh, my uh, mon amour, Eleanor, is. Uh, pff, it's. Uh, she doesn't know you're coming. Well, she will. Um, yeah, I expect your uh, notes to be accurate and surprising because. Uh, I want her to receive this special gift from uh, myself. Uh, do you have any uh, special request? Do you want me to do something specific? Something that uh, propagates our eternal love. You see, that's so general, it, it could mean a number of things. I mean, I've had people asking me to fuck their wives. I'm not sure if this uh, no, is... No, the, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I'm just, that, that's why it's important to be on the same page, right? He so, sort of turns a bit feral in his features. His eyes are gleaming red right now, and he looks upset. Whoa, 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 whoa there. Hey. Hey, 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 I'm, I'm just, uh, I, I'm just joking around, okay? I'm, I'm just uh, trying to make, so you want me to declare your love for her, right? Yes, we. Oui. Okay, how long have you been married? Uh, for, uh, let's say for a long, long while. Long time. Yes. Okay. Uh, um, but um, the most important thing, uh, you see? It's uh, important that uh, you keep silent. And uh, when I say so, you surprise Eleanor with uh, your uh, song. With my song? Yes. Okay. You follow quietly until we reach the point. Huh? I follow you quietly. And then when you say go, I start singing. Exactly. No. No. Not a formidable idea. You see her, you recognize her visage, and you start singing, huh? Okay, so she seeing her will be the cue for me to start yes, singing. Yes, will be the trigger. Huh? Yes, yes. And you recognize her because she has like this uh, magnificent personality, and she has like the most beautiful features with long, long hair and beautiful eyes and uh, feisty, feisty fire in them. Okay, feisty eyes, uh, what color? Brownish, silvery, brownish, I, it depends on the color of the moon, but uh, since uh, now the, the moon is approaching, they're more silvery. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll do my thing. Um, he nods and gestures. Please lead the way. And you start walking silently in the in the forest, and um, at first you feel a bit unease as dark starts creeping in. You go to the to, you stray from the the pathway that you've been w walking on, and trees start grabbing at at your clothes. But Mr. Fang motions you to follow him. 
um, with his uh, finger to his lips. I'm sorry, uh, is this normal? Do, do trees uh, usually grab? What did I say, huh? Shh. Silence! Okay. Uh, and uh, you start walking and walking and you start... Mm. Is that something? Run your perception. 18. You hear faint voices in the distance and a chirping like... But more and like... It's more humany than a, a, than a bird. I don't know. You you should know notes. <laughs> so I would say with that eighteen, you it's more. It's like it's coming from a human rather than definitely birds. a C sharp. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And um, as you start walking and walking between the trees, you see a glistening pool ahead, a wide pool that almost reflects perfectly the moon above, the 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 moon eye above, the moon above that is uh, almost over overlapping. And uh, you also distinguish a strong accent. Granddaughter, what gifts have you brought me? And now cut back to a, the scene earlier where Kate is seeing this scene in particular in your small pool uh, as <laughs> water starts churning and churning and um, swishing. You see Jen kneeling in the in a pool that reflects the moon with Leo's body unconscious and uh, someone that looks like her but wild and disheveled is stepping over and sort of demanding a gift with grandfather, granddaughter, what gifts have you brought me? Roll me a religion. And come on. Come on, come on, come on. Do I have anything on religion? No, it's a 14. Okay, with a 14, you don't know why Luna is showing you this. You don't know why it, why, what it means. You came here to ask her for an allegiance of some sort, for protections. But um, you think that she needs you. She needs you for this. She needs you for a reason as you see your friends it's clear that they're in sort of a maybe danger conundrum. yeah what do you do i try to pay attention to every little detail in the in the pool maybe to try to figure out where they are i mean i might have a vague idea they're maybe in Nocturna Obscura, because I've heard them talking about it. Do I see anything distinct to... Uh, perception. And a nature. Oh, and a nature. Drink your water, people. Drink your water. Uh, oh, pretty good. Oh. oh, no. Okay, so I have a 24 and a 9. <laughs> I don't know which one to choose, so I'm gonna... Choose like perception twenty four and then for nature. Okay, nature. You don't. There's trees. Cool. There. <laughs> uh, it's obviously <laughs> somewhere in nature. nature. It's a forest. Great. It's in, a forest. In, in, it, it might be a park. <laughs> you don't know. Wow. It's in nature Look, somewhere. It's a squirrel. <laughs> yeah, you see that. You also see the the it's moon above. Injured squirrel. <laughs> However, with a twenty nine on perception, Four. you see twenty four. Yeah. Okay, with the 24 on perception, you see definitely Leo's unconscious, seizing in Jen's arms violently. Uh, you see Jen taken aback. You see someone that looks like Jen, but definitely not in the strong points, not where she's soft, not where she's um, humane. Uh, someone with sharp features and, and long pointed teeth, longer than Jen's. Uh, and a disheveled, wild red hair with uh, streaks of silver, silver um, uh, strands of hair. Um, they seem familiar, almost like they're relatives. Uh, they and bear also, a resemblance. with a 29, you see. At the edge of your visage, 
uh, of, of your seeing, you see two creeping figures hooded. One is carrying a uh, loot. What do you do? Okay. Um, I feel a sense of maybe panic and anxiety about what's going on. Uh, I have an eerie feeling that, well, <laughs> basically Leo was brought back to life, so now what? He's being sacrificed? <laughs> And especially since I don't trust anybody now, um, I look to my vision and then look up and say, okay, what do you want me to do with this? Where is this? Give me a bit more, please. Uh, How can I... What religion? What do I do? Religion. Yeah, religion is hard. Gods are complicated. Yeah, tell me about it. Not if you keep <gasps> Not fit. 20. With the next 20, you even see, like for a split second, Luna manifests with her, like, um, almost ethereal form and uh, sort of bluish hue with her um, headpiece tying her bows and um, the, the, the moon symbol on her forehead. I, I thought you would get it. You're not supposed to panic, I'm panicking. Aren't you all seeing or anything? Just, Where is this? Just jump! What? Jump! What? Jump! <sighs> okay, I, 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 I take- to I, save my people. I take a deep breath and just jump Please, in the pool. all three are blessed. And she pushes you. <laughs> <laughs> I let out a, a yelp and just- How do you let out the- let out the- <laughs> <laughs> I was probably just preparing to say something and just... Do you breathe in the water? <laughs> no, no, I don't know. Maybe it gets a bit in my ear. <laughs> a few bubbles appear. <laughs> and as you jump inside the pool, <laughs> splashes around you and you submerge in this mystical pool and you feel dragged like your body's being squeezed through a, a tight, tight, uh, tight tube. Um, and we return to the actual pool of the moon, where an old lo woman that looks like you, Jen, uh, you feel her, you feel her blooming presence over you, um, and she hands out a hand with long red uh, fingernails painted in sort of some acrylic, uh, maybe hopefully acrylic paint. Um, and she says again, Granddaughter, what gifts have you brought me? First of all, I love the color. We should chat about that, the color of the nail. And a second, can we please have a moment? It was like a private thing. I'm trying to bring back my dear friend over here and we can chat later. I need a moment. He is fine. He's <laughs> not fine. Just give me a moment. I need space. You are giving you a space. Hi, come on, hurry on. <laughs> she says that. Are you dead? <laughs> uh, Liu is seizing in your arms and. Um, I'm submerging him as I keep my eyes on my grandmother with the big scowl, trying to indicate that this space between us isn't enough. I need her to go first. Persuasion. Thirteen. So with that thirteen, she doesn't move, <laughs> and as you submerge Leo underwater, two things, three things actually happen at once. You submerge Leo that stopped seizing his still as a piece of wood, not breathing, not anything. Um, you see two disheveled red heads. <laughs> Uh, standing over it, uh, each other, and suddenly, in, as you submerge Leo and his stiff feathers aboard, uh, there's a disturbance in the waters with ripples inside of the pool, and water swings from underneath you, and something, a, a creature is pushed, and you see a naked, almost naked Kate emerging with dripping waters over her face and uh, uh, eyes gleaming with energy. Uh, what do you guys do? 
I get out my lute and start singing This man so lucky can hold her near To make some fucky and call <laughs> her dear A love so old, didn't you say it was just one? A love so old, eternal flame This song's for this beautiful dame Or for the other <laughs> I'm visibly cringing. Psychic <laughs> damage. Uh, what do you guys do? I'm so lucky I'm stiff as a board. I don't have to deal with this shit. <laughs> oh, you're doing the planking <laughs> challenge. <laughs> uh, sir, I'm confused. Uh, you turn perception. He's gone. Oh my god. Uh, 11. He's gone. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fucker. <laughs> Where's my money, you bitch? Oh, f- I always, um, I, I, I should ask for Mr. it before. Mr. Fang, I'm... amused over the lake on the other side, uh, is chuckling, uh, and he sa- says, Eleonore, mia, mon amour, this is, uh, sorry, uh, Eleonore, mon amour, this is uh, the special guest that I uh, received for our uh, dining uh, tonight. Uh, what do you guys do? Dining? Designing? Please, back away, Grandma! And I'm trying to uh, cradle, Grandma. cradle uh, Leo Grandma. in my hand, trying to protect him. You hurt me! I'm slapping Leo gently over his face. Why is he unconscious? Uh, Leo starts breathing. <gasps> what do you guys do? As Eleonor <coughs> uh, holds herself with this unnatural grace, t- comes stands next to uh, Mr. Fangon Henry, your grandfather, uh, and they sort of group in a, in this like cold, calculated smile. Uh, fangs glinting in the under the moonlight. I whip out my rope. You leave me in the water. <laughs> no, with my other hand, I whip out my rope a very long rope, 60 feet, and do a lasso in the air and throw it towards the moon, towards Luna. I close my eyes and chant something, and then I create a rope trick, which is a rope, and at the end of it, 60 feet up, it's an extra-dimensional space pocket. And I do that, uh, as I do that, I try to hoist myself up with Leo on one hand and go... String check. Je suis naked. No. No, no I'm, I'm, I'm half naked. naked no. 19. 19. You manage to, like, you see the other younger version of whoever Leonor is not, like climbing with, uh, and this is the moment where you should describe yourselves as well. So, uh, uh, <laughs> Lissander knows who you are. Lissander. Nice. Uh, what you would see is, um, hoisted up. You see this uh, tall drow elf that is standing at around 6.3. Usually his presence is pretty commanding and graceful, but now he's just like limping in the arms, doesn't know what is happening. Uh, His eyes uh, glimmer faintly and they have like white pupils, like he would be blind. And on his forehead you see like a stone or something that looks like the face of the moon that is moving with the moon as well. Uh, medium uh, length hair that frames the athletic uh, yet scholarly face. He looks like a, he looks like an intellectual. Oh, and climbing up the rope with one hand, you see a pale face woman with very white skin and in stark contrast with her hands that with her hand that is groping the rope, it's that is burned. You see the, the hands are burned with crimson, very long hair cascading heavily like a waterfall towards the ground. Silver eyes, pointy ears, two fangs, a black attire, trousers with a lot of pocket, and from the back pop- pocket, a wooden spoon pops out. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, a wooden spoon pops out. And she's naked. Almost. I'm almost naked. Okay, so you see basically a uh, half elf with pale complexion. Uh, I have shoulder length uh, raven dark hair and eyes just as uh, just as dark. Uh, I have uh, an earring with a raven feather. I also have a pendant around my neck. Uh, that's also a raven with its wings spread out. Uh, I probably have a bralette or something. I'm not entirely naked. 
and maybe tights. I would normally wear black leather. Hey. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> I would normally wear a uh, black leather armor, but I don't know. Do I have any weapons on me? Do I have anything on me? Or I'm... as as you're thinking this, uh, I know, right? from the from the pool, uh, it's. It, as an aftershock comes your backpack with your things in it. Wow. Okay, great. Hey, Luna, can you also clothe me as well? Oh, wow. Would you like a braided hair with too? The, sure, with half we can mouth, braid each other's hair. I go, the woman's naked, put on a blouse. This is so cringe. Now I'm aroused. <laughs> no. Okay, keep it in your pants, buddy. Oh, who the who the hell is he? Jen? <laughs> and I look up <laughs> like, <laughs> are you just gonna leave? I came special. What the hell? I start climbing. This is <laughs> quite the. I don't like this position, Jen. Could I? Don't drop me, but could I not? What we can switch positions after. I'm sorry, honey. When you're screwed, you don't really get to choose your positions. Why am I always in these situations? <laughs> okay, uh, I would like to start climbing because there's Stay. only strength. You just left them in the pool. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? You can join us if you'd like. Hey, hey, uh, I, I don't know what's going on, but someone... Would you rather stay with the weird-looking, whatever they are, sorry, John, or with, I don't know, half-naked lady? They're gonna you. Oh, no. And not the way you're thinking. <laughs> it, 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 it's an eight. So I'm just gonna assume my palms, you sleep, are, <laughs> my palms are wet, uh, mom's spaghetti. Um, <laughs> so I I don't I I don't have a grip I'm on to. I'm I'm trying to I'm just oh I don't like getting wet. So you start jumping uh, and you slip back into the pool. Um, <laughs> this is. I, I just uh, I just help. need to know. So the I like the offer of joining the naked lady, uh, but someone needs to pay Lysander. So um, who's Lysander? Are you talking to yourself in the third person, really? You hear two splashes of, of coins. <laughs> the what? Yeah, um, that that's for the afterlife for leaving us here. Thank you. Do you have another couple? <laughs> Um, <laughs> and you hear that Leo, because I'm out of hand. You know? <laughs> and you hear coming from below like a, a soft chuckle. Candotara, <laughs> this is Mr. Fang. Please, uh, uh, I don't know you why you're so, so scared. We just invited you to a, a party. We we want you to meet the whole coven. That's a horrible way to invite someone, just saying you're the dinner. I yeah. need space. No one said you're the dinner. We invited you to dinner. I need a bit of space. Five minutes, ten minutes. <coughs> so, Family is someone party. eating someone out or uh, what's the deal? Okay, I don't think in the way that you thought this through, but... Uh, most is, is, is that asshole still in the vicinity? Hey, asshole! <laughs> I'm I'm right here. No no need no need to shout. Yes. Yes. I need my money. Wait. Okay. Come. I give you the payment, and if you uh, stay afterwards to also entertain our guests, our coven, we're gonna give you triple. Well, that sounds like a nice deal. Oh uh, sure, you do look like a snack, don't you? Such a presumptuous. Uh... It's so easy to judge nowadays. Uh, I go towards him, um, put the loot uh, in my back, and uh, extend my hand. He gives you what you were agreed upon, which I remember it's ten silver pieces and two gold? Yeah. Or something? Okay. So much money. Okay, I'll uh, stand by here, enjoy the view, uh, and uh, whenever the coven comes, I'll... Uh, excuse me, we need to go to the cover. Oh, and uh, it's in the it's in the castle. In the cap, which castle? The castle of the the blood the moon, of course. Oh, uh, well, you see, uh, that's a castle. I that doesn't sound too friendly. Is uh, very friendly. We also have other guests, not just the coven, but. Uh, uh, blood Moon, you said. Yes, because Eleanor was the queen of the Blood Moon. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Cool, 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 cool. Um, how about I uh, rain check? How about that? 
it's not very good. You're showing a poor face in front of Mon Amour, it's uh, no. Hey, I did my part, okay? I don't know what's going on, and uh, not to yeah. mention, I'm trying to think if it's, uh, if it's that time of the... Uh, no. As you, as this is, uh, this is the day of Mercury, and uh, it's four, four days until uh, it's Solace Day. Okay. Uh, how uh, is, is the, the, the event happening tonight? Yes, of course. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, forget everything I said. I'm ready. I get my loot bag and I start. I just start uh, doing some instrumental work. Oh, so you have another bar now. Amazing. Nobody can replace you. Let's put some instrumental work on. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, can we get up to the top? Yes. While this is happening. Um, <laughs> I searched through my backpack and. Uh, Put some clothes on, just dry it off, uh, and I would like to attempt again to climb the. Um, you hear from uh, from the wall. You hear, Kate. I am so happy to see that you are well. I haven't seen you in such a long time. Zip it! I'm here because of you. I am inspiring you. You have an extra date. Okay, thank you. I'm still mad about it. So this strange individual is sitting near the lake, singing <laughs> instrumental. Um, this human, you also see he's a human. Oh That's my god, you rolled up. Yeah, I know, it's 11, it's 11. It's uh, 13. Uh, you try again, but you slip, oh wetting again your new clothes. Uh, uh, Kate, how about you wait down there and we come back down to you? Sure, just abandon me here. What are they climbing towards? Uh, the, the there's pockets, a rick trope, and do they see the thing? You just see the rope going into nothingness. And, and right. as we climb my, my it, you see us dreams. going into nothingness. So we just vanish. Well, that's normal. Um... I try to uh, help her up. You stop. Uh, I stop singing. singing. I stop singing. I uh, I couldn't help myself but notice that you are incapable. Uh, would you? Wow, like... that's very presumptuous of you. No, no, no. no. I, I just meant uh, given the circumstances, uh, <laughs> and I would like to graciously extend my uh, my help. You can graciously take that hand and shove it up your butt. Wow. Thank you very much. I don't know each other, I don't know you, I don't trust you, basically. Well... Thank you, I can get out of, out of this pool by myself. Well, it seems to be quite a struggle. I always disarticulate. Oh, Here, stole that. Do, do you have something against polite people? Um, oh, that's what you're being, polite. Yes, I'm trying to help you out. You were gawking at me before, just because I was half naked, so... I'm sorry. And I would do that again. Oh, should I take that as a compliment? Yes, of course. Wow. <laughs> Life is short. You never yes, know. So is my temper. Thank you. Oh, feisty one. Oh my gosh. Oh, you always wow. get these vibes. I... You see the rope starting Shut to. Shut up, Leo. <laughs> oh, I miss Blaze. You see the <laughs> you see the rope starting to retreat in this nothingness. No. <laughs> we need okay. to get down to her, we are not leaving Kate there alone, Jen. I guess I'm stuck here. Why did I follow the wild you still, follow? Uh, you still half naked? No, I put on clothes now, oh. they're wet. Okay. I'm like... Uh, would you like to dry them out while you... And I take off my cape and hand it to her. Uh, I guess, sure. Thank you, that's very kind of you. I'm sorry for oh, being no bitchy, but I'm wet, I'm cold, and I don't know why I'm here, because apparently the people I'm here for are gone. <laughs> Again. <laughs> that's great. Sorry for not being trusting. No worries, no worries. We all have our days. And, uh... oh, days, 400 years of misery. 400 fucking years. I'm not 400 years old, I always just plunged 400 years into the future when some of my 
friend, well, companions actually, stole a book, the book of Vim, and then we got, well, magic appears, and yes. He went from, hey. from zero to <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Uh, I still say to myself, this one's crazy. Okay. Um, no, I'm not. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> well, you sure. said that to yourself. Uh, <laughs> happens to the best of us, right? I mean, I hate time travel. <laughs> Uh, one time I was at this tavern, uh, and I got hit in the head so bad, I woke up seven days in the future. That's, that's not what happened. And sure, you can ask Jen if you don't believe me, but it doesn't really matter. I don't need you to believe me. You probably think I'm crazy, but... What I... is a Jen? Jen is the redhead pulling up a body up the rope. Uh, so... that, that climbed into the nothing tree over there. Yeah. Exactly, mm. and abandon me here. Okay. You have quite some interesting friends. They're not my friends. They're... I don't know who my friends are. Well, sometimes I ask myself if I'm my own friend. I make poor choices constantly. Oh, we have something in common. That's fantastic. Don't we all? Yeah. Even the gods, I dare say. <gasps> Controversial. Jen, what was the plan? Why are we here? Listen to me, Leo. We don't have a lot of time, and this is important. And I pull out my grandmother's heart. You see this? This is what she wants. I needed time alone with you so we can figure out what the hell does this, does this heart do besides pumping. What do you mean? <laughs> it, it's clear that it give it thou. What grandmother, if? the power to bring your father back, wasn't that the... Of course, but beside that, what if she becomes interest, immortal and indestructible? What if she will rule the world? What if she can bite anyone and we all die? I don't know. I need you to... What do you mean me to do? You know what I want you to do. What did he... No. It's just, I don't know, uh, look at it with your magic. Uh, identify it. I and see. maybe... <laughs> <laughs> You're so sweet. Where are you right now? In, in the pocket in the realm. Nothingness. And how does it look like? It's a cozy bubble with, with red leather and some poofs. <laughs> and it can hold up to six six people. So it's oh, a sex dungeon dressed in it. <laughs> no, no. I prefer it as my cozy space. <laughs> and um <laughs> Stop making fun of my space. Stop making fun of my space. Um or maybe you can enhance your powers. I notice you can do that. Uh, can I, I? I do have the identify spec. Can I? Okay, you can uh, use. You them. see, uh, Leo just uh, uh, touching the uh, heart and saying, "Reveal the truth, unlock the way. What secrets in this form do lay? By magic touch, let knowledge flow. The hidden now I seek to know." And his eyes turn completely purple as he starts to look at the heart. As you start uh, <coughs> looking at the heart, it starts pumping <laughs> faster and radiates something. Give me a wisdom saving throw. Oh. Yeah. I'm in a coma again. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. Oh my um, god, I'm so bad at these. I'm like the less wise person. Yes. <laughs> but my dice never fed natural 20! Oh, 19. Oh, you feel something overtaking you, like the energy from inside the, the, the heart itself seems to overtake you, but you sho shove it off. Since you're being thrown in this traumatic experience, you almost died, you died, and then you sort of died again, uh, but not for good, and you just came back, you, you say, Fuck you to this this energy that's try so tries sad. to tug at you. Um, and you learn the following thing. This is a sentient flesh thing, not an item. Um, it's imbued with a sort of ancient magic, so ancient and cold and distant that even Luna's powers or the enchanted items that you encountered seem far newer than this. Um, 
and you will also know that it belongs to Eleanor and Eleanor belongs to her um, and the fact that this being them the two entities being joined together will uh, have um, a great potence in their magic and powers peut-être peut-être i'm crazy but what if i take it that way i can ensure my father survives but what will it do to me or my grandmother um i can clearly say that you would gain more power but i feel when i identified it it felt like something will was tugging at me like a something tried to creep into my mind i feel like if you take the heart which i strongly suggest because i don't want your grandmother to have a legion of vampires uh, you would need to be really strong-willed to maintain control over yourself but i have full i don't know what to do leo and the only person i trust is you because you are my closest friend Whatever you're gonna go through, you're not gonna do it alone. I'm I'm scared that even if I choose that or this, I'm going to make a huge mistake. And we're all gonna die. Or my father's gonna die, or you're gonna die, and I, I don't want that. You, Kate, Grace, Pax, you mean the world to me. So is my father. I don't want me... I don't want to lose any of you. Uh, hand on your shoulder. The only way to protect those that you care for is to be powerful for them. And this can give you the power to protect and help them. So should I do it? I think you should. If something goes bad and I start murdering innocents and lose my way, I need you to... I need you to stop me, no matter what that means. You understand? Oh, Leo looks down. Uh-huh. Or knock some sense into me, eh? maybe it's just that. And I grab your chin. Yeah. And caress <clears throat> your cheek. As I said, we're in this together and grabs the hand. Okay. Should I eat it or...? I don't know how it works. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get with the identify spell how she merges with the... Uh... Well, it's a beating heart that needs to be in someone's chest. <laughs> well, well, you can just... I suppose if you ingest it, it goes to your heart, maybe? But what happens this, with this your old heart? <laughs> no, yeah. That's sure. not how it works. I know, to me. Uh... Uh, As you think about this, on the outside of this uh, realm of uh, pocketing, uh, it's uh, Lysander, I, I pronounce this okay? Lysander. Lysander, Lysander and Kate. From Lys. Every, everything okay? Do they usually uh, just take a break from life or uh, what, what, what is the, your non-friends? What, what are they? Are they fucking? They're fucking, right? <laughs> Oh god, I don't even want to think about that. Um, my... So, I presume, seeing... Uh, is Elon Eleanor and uh, Mr. Fang still there, just looking at us? Or did, you, they, did they go to the coven? To the castle? No, they're, out, they're, they're outside looking at you, still as statues. Okay. Okay, so first of all, that's creeping me out. Uh, second of all, I would presume... Yeah, what's up with that? I don't know. I have never met them, but I'm assuming uh, they're not... We hear you. Uh, we have yeah. very strong hearing, even Can in... we, um, you know, just like, Jen, can we get some space? Maybe? Yeah, I mean, I mean, you seem to have. Lovely. You can go a bit further because we need to access the, 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 the castle. It's down here, so, um, yeah. Okay, sure, and I just take it by the collar and come on. Me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, sure, okay. Uh, okay, uh, move. Do, do you uh, still have my cape around you? The, yeah, I'm drying off. Just, okay. Come on, move. Um, okay, 
I don't think they're friendly. Jen has to have a reason for not dealing with them. I don't know why she left us here to deal with them. Or if we have to deal with them at all. Uh, <laughs> what What's the relation between Jen and them? I don't know. They seem related. Related. Okay, so she's a witch. Uh, mm, no, I think the correct term was Dampe. Okay. But she doesn't. She kill. she's part of the the this coven, nonetheless. You have no idea, do you? I know uh, she's a she's a good uh, chef, Lisander. Most important. Four. So you know, vampires definitely don't exist, and they're in fairy tales. But now you're a bit confused. You know, vampires exist. But they're very scarce. There's like this race that came from the ancient vampires. This is what you know what the fuck. So hear me out. Um, Always. I've spent. Not crazy. Okay. <laughs> wow. My mother um, had me tested. Smooth, but not a time. Um, um, the time I spent with Jen, she has never posed a problem, uh, a threat to any of the group. So. Uh, she has to have a reason to have pulled Leo, who's an old friend of hers, apparently. Also, uh, not, um, he doesn't, uh, he means well, usually, so. I'm sorry, I was just thinking about a verse of, about your eyes. What did you say? Sure, raven eyes, raven hair, uh, like raven, raven, raven. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> raven eyes, raven hair. Just pay attention if you care. Thank you. Wow. Oh, I can rhyme oh, on the spot because I had plenty of time on my hands when I was a kid. Um, that, that wasn't bad. I know. Thank you very much. Right. So, uh, do do? Do, do, is the rope still dangling? No. 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 They pulled the rope out. Uh, so, did you just agree? to go play to the whole covenant. Yes, of course, you... this is what I do. Sure. So... I bring joy to people. Okay. What if they bring their fangs into you? <laughs> well, uh, I say if it's consensual, bring it on, but uh, if it's not consensual, then uh, I am quite good with the sword. Okay, so what if you're outnumbered? I always find a way. And if I don't, you know, as I said, life is short. I am not going to, uh, you know, crawl on my elbows uh, in order to not slip on the ice. I will dance gloriously, and if I uh, find my end, so be it. I just need it to be memorable, you know. Okay, am I the only one? You're so beautiful. It's amazing. I, I hate myself for saying this. Oh, okay, uh, I'm glad that's the effect I have on you. Uh, I think we need to focus. I can make myself uglier, so I think there's some mud around here. Just like, <laughs> put it on my face. <laughs> I would like to see you smear yourself with mud, yes. Oh my god. Oh my god, what are you into, even? <laughs> what are you, Eva? <laughs> what are you not into? I, uh, Fangs into... I uh, like exploring, you know. I, uh... Yeah, I can definitely tell. You say uh, you've had a lot of time. Um, and you clearly didn't explore enough, so maybe next time <laughs> I can take you by the hand, so... I can take your next 437 years. Oh, no, thanks. Uh, He's a human, so I don't know about it, but... Um, I don't know, maybe he'll become... The show me all the positions! <laughs> <laughs> Assume the position. Um, can you want? Yeah, this is the loot position, hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can pay for um, my thumb. <laughs> oh, Jimmy Hendrix. Uh, Hold my uh, teeth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you know when he's down to jiggy. Oh, oh I no. see those teeth in that glass. <laughs> oh, I guess you keep it. <laughs> That's the hint. Okay. So, it, just focus, please. please. Uh, it's really hard for me. 
<laughs> What's hard? I mean, for you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I just, I, I can't help myself. I'm sorry. I know. I'm, I know. It's, it's uh, it, this. I'm, I'm, I'm. I hate myself for doing this, but I can't help myself. No, I, I think I'm not used to people being this straightforward, and I'm usually the straightforward one and make people uncomfortable. That's how I got my last male friend. Oh. Uh, who I don't know what the relationship between us is right now. <laughs> complicated. So complicated, yes. Oh, Very so you are taking, taken. I taken. have no idea. I haven't spoken to him in. Well, how do you feel while. about it? How do you feel Weird. about him? I like him. He's nice. He's shy. He's quiet. Not like. Do you like kind the, of the opposite of you, actually. Did you ever stay with him in the same area? and none of you said anything and it was okay? Not really, he usually reads to me. Which is kind of nice, it's relaxing. I or he read so to me. Cool. I know, right? It's so cool. It's nice. He could stay in the bath and just read poetry to you. Yeah. No, short stories. I have a short attention span. So. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's not here! I don't know why I'm talking to you. <laughs> Okay, uh, is it by any chance the the, the, the bloke that... Uh, oh, no, 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 Leo's just a... Friend. Buddy, chancellor, mm -hmm. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so as this uh, conversation keeps going, upside, in the pocket realm of uh, redness, leather, and puffs... Um, so what do we do? Do we carve out your heart and put this one in? What stuff? What if I have, I keep my art because I don't know, I, I'm afraid I'm going to lose my feelings. Stuart. It's not really that bad. Okay, uh, we will come back to that issue mm. after. What issue? That explains a lot. Um, what if I'm losing myself if I carve my own heart? What if we mm. stick inside two? You could also do that. I have a big chest. I think it fits too hard. Yes, you do. I'm looking at because it's a big chest. Um, <laughs> yes, we can definitely do that. We should. Um, Wait, that's... Um, I, I think I, I'm a little bit worried about um, a case down as well. Me too. I think we should well, hurry. I, 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 I can put the rope, but one of us has to pay attention if grandma starts climbing we have to cut it or something yeah you know how are we gonna step your stop your from the you cut the rope okay and she falls okay. but we can let kate inside and maybe the we are the man with the loot that was singing about my beauty okay <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, i'm starting yeah. to to let down the rope gently as I poke my just my head outside and say, Kate, this is for you <laughs> and I frown. <laughs> and, and and you can hear I'm sorry, I'm such a cliche. I know I know I'm a bard and then 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 I, I, I just I, I just love I love I love life, you know, and there, and there. orgasms, and that's the problem, actually. Not, not there, there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, I just uh, hedonism. You know, it's such there, a there, 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 there. It's a problem. Yeah. An oasis. <laughs> in, I I cover his mouth. In an ocean yeah. of sadness. I think he likes this room. I wouldn't. Okay. <laughs> don't don't lick I it. Lick her. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I would have done the same thing, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you're me. And I say it. delicious. See, I do it all the time. Okay, oh. I hope I was salty enough. Um, if not, I can turn my salt off. Will the two um, of you get up the rope? Okay, can you climb? I was unsuccessful because I'm fucking. Can right. I climb? Yes, Maybe. not on top of me. Just. Uh, Thank you. Hop on. What? I can oh, carry I have it, to pick I pick it back on Jen and I have to pick it back on you. Okay, fine. Oh. He wasn't pointing, you know, that back. You can hop on not the back, but <laughs> Oh my god. I don't think he'd be able to climb with what his front occupied. <laughs> I don't know. So, uh, <laughs> the cop thing uh, is not coming back to this narrative is not coming. This is not part of you. Oh, you have no idea. Get a room. Um, Get a room. I'm in my 
We are. Bra. Bra. <laughs> Whatever lingerie. This helps my. <laughs> this helps a lot. So, uh, you, uh, Kate, yes. climbs up on Lysander's back. And Lysander, give me a strength check, and it's gonna be a different threshold now. I, uh, I right. believe in you. You see my eyes; they are very white. The moon shines. You have a bardic inspiration as well. Oh, thank you, kind sir. Yeah. Uh, There's the stranger saying from nothingness. A head head pops up and says, "I believe in you." <laughs> you better bring Kate up here, or else up your day up. I believe in me as well. Yeah. I whisper to myself. Uh, so sure, just a, sure. a, a strength save. Yes. Okay. And you have a D8. Yeah, an extra D8 for your troubles. That's twenty Whoa! plus five plus. Uh, one. So you're so intrigued and a bit. I'm, I'm gonna say aroused by the <laughs> fact that this a uh, former naked lady is on your back and this like headless man uh, bobs out uh, and inspires you and this is something new interesting so you basically slide upwards just hold the rope and like singing uh, you, I don't know how you did this maybe your muscles and your pony <laughs> very, very strong for some reasons especially like, in the right one I feel like Luna is just down there come on just get up no, she's not, but um, <laughs> kicking their asses. In a jiffy, you're right in this like tight space, dressed in leather uh, furniture and um, sort of walls, I think, and there's some red puffs, and inside there's this lady in her bra and uh, bloke With a bloke who... I mean a corset. Yeah. With a knife. Uh, first my eyebrow <laughs> appears, and then uh, the rest of us, uh, and I, s I say, well, hello there. Such a nice place. I'm gonna point out that I'm gonna uh, take back the rope and coil it inside the... Is anybody else on the rope? <laughs> no, they're just... It, perception. <laughs> just floating. <laughs> uh, 22. You're just sitting there watching you guys. Uh, I'm going like this uh, as I disappear. Jen, uh, <laughs> uh, the person that looks like an older version of Jen, but with more uh, sort of sharp features and longer fangs, sort of uh, smiles uh, in, in, in pleasure. And uh, Hen Henry or Mr. Fang, as you know him, just sits there and, and watches. Both very, very still, like their uh, chest cavity don't move. Uh, doesn't move. Um, their arms don't wobble. They, they, they don't move. They're just watching, very still. Um, I uh, put her down and I walk towards Thank her you. and uh, I I lock my eyes on her hair and I go such beautiful hair with no measure in such a beautiful space. Look at his pleasure. <coughs> Sorry, excuse, excuse, excuse me. me. Excuse Hello, me. a pleasure to meet you. Leo Auxilium, uh, the Chancellor of the Midnight District, and you are? With the knife. <laughs> with the knife. <laughs> no, no, uh, he's no, from no, Greenspring. Yeah. You've heard about the seven districts. Each district has a Chancellor. He says he's the Chancellor of one. Well, I'm intrigued. Uh, my I'm name intrigued. is uh, Lysander L Lyricus, and, um, you know, I, I do taverns, funerals, birthdays. Uh, which is covens, <laughs> you know, the works. Perfect. Um, well, uh, so what does it, what does a, a guy have to do to, to get a place like this? No, Jen, mostly. Uh, this is my place. Beautiful. It's unique. I don't know if anybody else can do this beside myself. Huh? I'm a Special. Oh, please, stop <laughs> doing that. Oh my god. <sighs> okay. This is what my parents told me. <laughs> Let me spare you the trouble. Why Why am I here? Uh, why did I see you with your body unconscious? Leo, What's uh, happening? Leo looks at Kate and he's like, I don't know what you've been through. I don't know why, but I really want to give you a hug. Is it okay? I would like to see that. Let's keep the hug for later. Um. Yeah, maybe that's the best. What, so what I've been through. Oh, that's right, because you haven't been in the whole Green Spring Massacre or whatever we're calling it, but. Yeah. That! That! Yes. <laughs> Sorry, you had to. Well, uh, oh, I know. Briefly, it's you remember Castiel's crazy 
ritual with us, uh, retrieving his artifact. No, no. The one, there. I know. No, the one you left. said you don't want to participate in. No, I didn't want any part of it. I've had enough of course. crazy shit. I understand. I would have done the same, but I had no choice. My hands were tied. Um, By whom? He wasn't By. even in the picture. <laughs> no, metaphorically. <laughs> so, <laughs> no. it fit. Apparently, I also needed something from the fortress of death. It was this, and I point towards the heart, the beating heart. Earth. <laughs> not here, no. it's not, don't feel... No, um, I believe that's I'm okay. supposed to go okay. inside. <laughs> yes, so long story short, uh, this is my grandma's heart. Of and course I'm, it is. I'm scared to give it back to her because she's uh, crazy. I don't know if you your, noticed. Your grandmother's yes, outside she's is a, dead staring. Mm, at... She's a murderous cunt. Huh? I have those genes inside of me, uh, apparently, but I hope I will do better. So I was debating with Leo if we should do this or uh, give it back to her. Uh, so uh, I, I don't think giving that back to her would help our case, honestly. Yeah, nobody else, and he starts uh, putting his uh, uh, shirt up uh, to his sleeves, nobody else is going to take this decision. You are the one that has to take it. Why we are, here why, to support why are you, you pulling your sleeves up? Okay. Uh, we need to implant the heart. In I am definitely general. supporting that. Um, Perfect, you can uh, one perform more thing. the kind of thing. And I take a into? blood. <laughs> oh, so one more thing, and we go in a corner of uh, the room, which is like two feet there, two feet there, <laughs> it's like very small. One more thing, and I take one of my bloody hands with the heart, put it in my pocket, and grab out an orb. Okay. If anything goes bad, you need to use this on me. But otherwise, you can use it on Krama or other vampires or vampires or night creatures. Even on Shark, I think it works. Oh. Okay. It's, um, so it's a prison of sorts. It's kind of a shield. A, a prison. Oh, okay. Let's hope it doesn't come to that, I suppose. Okay, are thou ready? Yes. Kate, all the this? <sighs> Wait. And I go I to my backpack, I take some sort of cloth, whatever. And... Okay. <laughs> I uh, kick myself on the corset. Uh, I'm ready. Okay. Um, what do uh, I do with it? I uh, hold it until I make the incision and the heart is <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Shouldn't we remove the corset first? I mean, it's a beautiful piece uh, and we wouldn't want to. We blood wouldn't on it, want to cut right? it, of course. Not. Yes. May I help you with that? N uh, I don't think it's necessary. You can see the. So it's like this part yes. is free, right? Uh, okay, so no, but it's because of the blood, you don't want it. It's red, uh, the blood won't be noticeable. And I take out the wooden spoon from my back pocket and I put it in my mouth and bite on it hard. Go on. No. <laughs> Oh. So as you're intending to do open chest uh, surgery. surgery on a person who bites on a wooden spoon but also wears her corset, da? Question, uh, does he identify the, uh, tell me how this thing can be united with another? Does he take attunement and you just like attune to it and you snort it down the nose? Would he identify, tell me okay. that? <laughs> so how much was your roll again? Uh, I didn't roll, if you want. Oh, for identify? I just cast the spell. G give me an arcana. I suggest you should uh, pump your skills before, like... Uh, with the enhanced ability, of course, that's my... I will cast another spell. And I have advantage on uh, intelligence checks, which Arcana is part of. Wow. Mm -hmm. Uh, 23. Okay, nice. with the 23, you know, it must be placed inside the chest. Mm -hmm. Connected to the main four uh, arteries and vessels. It's a whole uh, operation. Wow. But I've got it. I read out the books already. Uh, and you feel this from the heart as it tells you Eleanor knows. Mm. Of course she does. I'm watching this. Of course she does. Hmm? 
um, just so you know, your grandmother is aware of this happening, probably once. No, no, no. Before. Eleanor knows how this should be done. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, you think your grandmother would help you? What do you think? Huh? Okay. I don't think so. Uh, then I will try my best to also <laughs> to do open like heart surgery. Yes. Okay, let's go with this. Um, um, I I put in a row the bottle of healing potions that uh, in, in Sangon and Claton that work on me next to me. Uh, yeah, one of the good traits, everybody, of not uh, experiencing fear. What am I to fear about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna kill her. Uh, Rolly, we start with a series of checks. This uh, uh, is I, I I say to to myself, but sort of to to the entire room. Um, well, this situation requires me to say fuck, but good luck. And I, uh, you have bardic inspiration. A d8? Mm-hmm. Oh, bless. What's a d8? Yeah. And uh, for some reason, I'm all nervous. Can I assist you in your surgery? Because I am sure, just and keep it medicine. Like, I suppose you could be like, yeah, this is the, yeah, this is the good, but I don't know, depends on the. Uh, okay, again, let's start with the open heart surgery on a conscious person that has a bra on a, on on so, on it. Yes, I, I still think that you should take that. You're watching. You, you don't. Okay, you we believe. start with the <coughs> medicine check. It sounds ominous. I think I'm gonna die. So many unnecessary strings and cloth getting in the way, you know, it's... Do you want to hold the heart? <laughs> to hold the heart? Yeah, sure. Maybe you'll look at it and <laughs> you won't talk uh, as much. I'm going to use the DA now. Well, sure. Uh, yeah. That is a total of uh, 15. So with the 15, you manage to um, cut the be mm. between the, the ribs uh, and go through the stern that yeah. pr protects the heart. Uh, and uh, the fact that the blouse was there uh, didn't help immediately. Blood starts gashing, you feel a lot of pain. You roll me a uh, concentration to see if you maintain your consciousness. Uh, and you take 2d8 damage that you roll yourself. Could I, while I'm doing this, pump like... Am I conscious with 15? Uh, yes, you keep your conscious, but it hurts. Terribly. Do I figure out that the corset is the problem? I don't uh, think the corset is the problem. You, I don't know. It's a open heart surgery. I don't think. The I'm corset. taking out the corset. You don't look. You're in a lot of pain. Yeah, in a lot really of pain. I don't know if you. Eleven. If you would uh, be able to. <laughs> ah! Uh, so you manage to go through the derma mouth. and the stern <laughs> and now uh, you need to sort of make room there and you need to give me another medicine, medicine check. Uh, may and I intervene? Yes. Uh, I will... Uh... There's blood gashing, you took the damage? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. 11. I, uh, I, I, I take the, the cape and um, sort of um, uh, take the excess blood and then... I, I, I concentrate and I whisper to myself something beautiful, uh, but the three of you have bless. Oh, bless your soul. Um, while this is happening, I am doing this and I take a napkin that I have around and I <laughs> put my own forehead. As I for speak. us, for that, because you're not doing both hands, the next roll will be with a disadvantage. Why are we doing this? Uh, I don't know. I, will, uh, I would have cast Enhance Ability on my Wisdom, so that would be a straight roll then. Okay. Um, so it's another medicine, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Um. yeah. I believe in you, Dice. This is the moment to fuck. <laughs> really? Okay. Yes, yes, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> How much is it? It's a total of five. Okay, okay, with a total of five, you try to make space and you start pulling the oh ribcage. Uh, you immediately Whoa. take 68 damage. Um, Holy shit. And uh, you roll me a uh, concentration and you have to pass a 20 to remain conscious. Jesus. 68. 68. That's a lot, Carl. You're, you're, you're doing open heart surgery. <laughs> Can I cast a healing With word a five on, on her as well? I on the next round. Your, your blessing doesn't help me stay, well, lucid. Oh, shit. 
Again, open heart surgery by a chancellor. <laughs> I ran around books. I will probably... 29 I will damage. probably faint. 29 damage? Yeah. Okay, concentration. It was almost a 20. It was caught. I, I'm, I'm unconscious. Uh, Jen now falls unconscious and right. blood is uh, just uh, uh, spilling. How much out. hell do you have? Uh, don't do meta. Next, what do you do, Leo? Uh, uh, Jen believes in me. Jen gave me uh, this mission. I'm gonna push through. I will we uh, believe in you. start uh, um, connecting the other heart to the arteries in the manner that I put the heart close to the other one and I quickly cut one artery and connect Give it to the Give me as heart. you... Ah, so basically you try to replace, cut yeah, the yeah, other one yeah. and replace this one. Yeah. Okay, give yeah. me another medicine for the first connection. Um, can I also cast a healing word on second level on Jen? Well, uh, please or not? So before, if you want to do this before you make room in the rib cage, sure. Okay. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, healing word on her. I uh, have you covered, my man. Thank you, my man. I feel like this is a bonding experience that is definitely gonna. Though your body breaks, your spirit stays true and come back from the brink of the blue. And I, um, I do ten uh, lay on hands. Uh, make a note of that. So. Uh... All of her point body pressure. That is uh, 16 medicine. 16 medicine. Not that good for connecting an artery. Uh, she will take... You manage to... You think you manage to do it. Partially, at least. And she will take 3d8 damage. Uh, uh, you, roll, you roll me the damage. 3d8. Um, okay. Three, I know it's 30, 10. I'm, uh, what are you? So, 3d8, 5, 9, uh, 3, uh, 12 points of damage. Okay, uh, Karina, Jen got healed for 10, but then she took 12 points of damage, so you okay. get a minus 2. I, I go again, um, from the brink of that, please come back so that one day I may have you in the sack and another uh, <laughs> ten, 10 lay on hands. 10 lay of hands. Another medicine. A medicine for the next artery. The first check was 16. 19 plus 4 is a 23. Wow. Okay, a 23 is very good. She only takes 2D, 1d8 damage as she loses a bit of blood, but is connected. That is 4. Points of damage. Okay. Um. Again, I, I don't have. have. No. Yes. I don't know that. I'm not ready. Meta. Mm -mm. Seventeen plus four, twenty-one. Twenty-one. You, you think you you're gonna miss it, and the sort of the left artery starts uh, shivering and. You connect it in the final second. This also counts as a success. Only 1d8 damage. Uh, three. Um, as this is happening inside Leo's mind, as he's doing this, he's focused, but he just has all of these flashes of his sisters and his mother's uh, yawn of pain and agony, seeing. Uh, her daughter that they're unable to help and all you can hear as you are close to uh, Leo as he's doing this not again not again I put a, a hand on your shoulder you got this okay I got this I got this I don't got this how much? Uh, it's a total of five uh, 68 damage you don't got this <laughs> Uh, the artery at least. Do you want to roll them? Okay. You have 68. Um, at least is the artery like sutured, but she just takes a lot of damage. Uh, no, it's gonna snap. It snaps back. Oh, no. Uh, uh, are we sure we 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 want to do this, uh, Chancellor? You uh, you maybe want to go back to tax writing. So right now, Jen has sort of. I'm dead. <gasps> Did the, did the heart stop beating? Uh, Jen's heart? Yeah. Uh, 
uh, yes, because she's clinically dead, and the other, uh, the, one, the, one, the only one that's keeping blood pumping and sort of resuming through the uncovered vessels is uh, Gran, uh, uh, Jen's grandma's heart. No, 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 no. At that moment, I, Leo just automatically, like mechanically, sees the heart stopping in a s as medicinal and uh, surgical way that he can quickly cut the two ones that are not beating anymore from the heart that she's dead and connect the heart as quickly as he can. So basically, but again, you did... So what you did is the heart has four veins and four four veins and arteries together yeah. and, and you connected connected. three of them and the last one snapped through Jen's grandma's heart uh, uh, Jen's heart is normally she it's not beating anymore because it's not connecting to anything okay okay anymore so, so uh, she's clinically dead so I need to create another artery for you need to connect the last artery or I don't know cut them and connect well, Jen's if I heart back. try to connect the one using uh, uh, healing words you like uh, Heal Jen's heart. Heal Jen's heart in the way to make the uh, tissue heal itself faster. Okay, so basically you want to cut grandma's heart and put Jen's heart next to the other and pump magic so they yeah. connect automatically. Yeah. Okay, we can do that. Uh, cool, we're gonna roll initiative. Uh, for this, everybody, let's say... What? Uh, <laughs> what? Open heart surgery. <laughs> Natural uh, 20. Oh my god, this die is uh, something else. Lysander is... 22. 22. Uh, 16. 16. 16. Leo? Yeah. 19. 19, Kate? 17. 17, uh, Jen. So, Lysander, you go first. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, her face turning blue. Come back to life, you have orgasms to pursue. Um... Cure wounds. 10, 13, uh, 16, 19 HP. So basically, you can cure wounds, but she's not a, gonna come back to life right now because she doesn't have a heart connected. Pump that energy when I tell you to hold your action. I will hold my action, as you say, Chancellor. Hold action. Cool. Kate. <laughs> Kate is frozen. She. Can okay. do nothing. <laughs> Jen, roll me a death save. This is going to be a natural 20. 10. Okay, oh. it's a fail. Uh, it's a save, Ten. sorry. Uh, Leo. Uh, looking at the newly acquired uh, help, he will try to put the uh, hearts together and look at him and say, pump as much healing energy as you can. I will try to directly in the right areas. So you try to press them, but you need to cut. Yeah. So you start cutting. Yeah. So the first action, you cut uh, yeah. the the veins around you. Uh, do you want to do them subsequently on each round or cut them all together? I would... Uh, give cast them. Cut them all together? Fuck yeah. Okay. I can use sleight of hand. It has to be above uh, 20. Sleight of hand? Yes. Otherwise, there will be dire consequences. I have blast, I still have blast. Yes. Unless you casted something with concentration. Do we have blast with for that saving throw as well? Uh, I think I think so, yeah. That's um that's a 13. Does anybody have inspiration? To yes, uh, but I need to let go of the action I held. Do you have something as a reaction that can help? I don't think so. Okay, uh, so as you, with the 13 you cut two, uh, the third one doesn't cut, but uh, she gets extra damage, so it's gonna be a fail as well. Okay. Next! Top of the round, ladies. Does he pump healing yet? Uh, you... You it can pump heal. You can pump right? healing, but it's not going anywhere. Because so the heart is not connected. Well, then I don't do that. Okay. Uh, stop of the round. I, um... Come on, man. This is no joke. Uh, be a good, strong 
handsome block, uh, bardic inspiration. Okay, so I have an extra tier. I feel so scared of life. Kate. Uh, Kate, panicking, um, asks uh, Leo and Lysander, does anybody have sending sense or message or anything? I have a sending, but I couldn't do a sending right now. The <coughs> blood is pumping. We need Castiel. We need Castiel now. <laughs> She's not going to make it, Leo. Either this or we take her to her grandmother. <laughs> exactly. Uh, the moment Very. you say she's not gonna make it, Leo's face just straightens up and looks at the body and just continues to finish what he hopes to do. hand. That's an 18 yes. plus. Oh, it's uh, not you. It's uh, sorry. It was Kate. And that was Jen. The save. Yeah. Uh, and you keep that right of hand. Okay. I would like to also assist. Like, you want to assist? Yeah, you get advantage. Okay. okay. I'm blessed. Eleven. Yeah, Eleven. Shift, Another success. Leo. Uh, Eighteen plus uh, three is uh, uh, twenty-one. Twenty-one plus one is twenty-two plus my sleight of hand, which is uh, plus four, is twenty-six total. Okay. Math. Excellent. So you remove the heart and you place with that sleight of hand uh, the Jen's heart oh, correctly ne near the oh, vessels okay. that are not connected. Mm -hmm. And then I turn my gaze to you and say pump. But he didn't hold an action. Yeah, he didn't. That's true. But that's uh, top of the round. Lee. I pump. <laughs> uh, Lee Sander. Lice. Sander. Do I need to roll again for the uh, healing uh, for the cure wounds? Well, you pump whatever you want and you roll. Okay. No, I, I already did that mm -hmm. and it was quite good. I'm asking if. Oh, no, keep the... that. Okay, 19 HP. 19 HP, you're back from the clutches of death, Jen. Congratulations. Uh, as your heart connects how much with the vessels, and you are back to 19. Am I unconscious? Uh, no. <gasps> and my wooden spoon oh, pops out. Uh, you, you look down, and everything is filled with blood. It feels like it's. I take a sanglonic latin. Uh, drink it, splash it over me, splash it in the... Wound. It's more blood or ketchup, or it smells very spicy. Does it do anything? Uh, mm. You get healed for the appropriate amount. Yes, baby. After uh, uh, Jen does But that. you still bleed as you're open and you get 1d8 damage uh, since you see your heart and your cavity. I'm proficient uh, in medicine. Okay. What? Uh, as she takes the potion, mm -hmm. uh, Leo looks that the chest is open closes it and then goes for a hug and uh, a hug so tightly and he will cast uh, healing words and try to suture the uh, chest as he's hugging. Healing words. Uh, at third level because we are dying inside. Why am I playing the emotionless character? Uh, because you died and you rolled on a chart. <laughs> Uh, 10 points of extra healing for you. Okay. So now she's stabilized. Uh, she has her uh, chest cavity closed, her derma closed, but you see a bit of a scar remaining where you cut her uh, as a mark for the future and future ideas. Um, I'm sorry, um, your corset. Thank you. Um, you put it over the blood <laughs> and the sangat de clatin. So, you took her heart out, tried to put her grandma's uh, heart in, and then aborted that mission and put back her heart in? No, I combined her heart with the heart of her grandma. Oh, no, this is not uh, what happened. I put her heart back? Yes. Yeah. Ah, it's also so the now heart we have the heart of the grandmother. <laughs> Still pumping. <laughs> Leo! I, I, I couldn't do that because I, I, I can't perform this surgery, Jen. You were almost dead. Now do me. <laughs> <laughs> what if, what if we jump 
from my room inside the pool go back from where Kate where did uh, you came from the midnight chapel is Castiel there no he wasn't there I is haven't Castiel seen Castiel in spring? I don't how do you not know where Castiel is where's Castiel how should I know <laughs> we can send him wait who am I you have the possibility to send a message yes okay we can tell him to meet us at the midnight chapel Leo. Yeah. Snappy. Um, uh, Leo uh, closes uh, his eyes and sends a uh, sending spell to uh, uh, Castiel. Uh, as you try to send a sending spell, mm -hmm. it sort of gets enveloped into this ether mass. I'm inside it, your... Uh, just go outside. Sure. <laughs> You uh, spend that uh, level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have okay. one more. Third level. Uh, he uh, pulled out the rope covered in blood. <sighs> That's the grandmother. Yeah, she's still there, staring. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, so you made it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, your grandmother is quite... Um, he closes uh, his uh, eyes as to take a breath and he will send the sending to Castiel. As, as you try to do that, it gets enveloped, eaten, sort of, ether. Uh, like a muffled description. <laughs> Excuse me, just a second. <laughs> we still expect you to join the party. Yeah, I'm trying to make her calm down. Uh, he goes up again. My sending spells are not being sent. Something is eating the spell. It's like going into an eater bubble. I don't know what that means. Maybe Castiel is not. What if I eat this art? You think it will work? And I start pulling out my seasonings. Are you trying to make it tastier? You see, you eating a live poop heart. It out. <laughs> I'm yes, but if she absorbs the grandma <laughs> as nutrients before she shits her, then mission will have been accomplished. Wait, right? maybe to get all the nutrients, we need to just blend it and turn it into a smoothie. <laughs> can I roll for arcana or something or medicine? Oh, uh, you can roll for arcana, medicine, nature, whatever. You medicine. Prefer. Eighteen. You know your hearts. You're a cook. You know dear hearts. You cook pigeon hearts. You cook cooked all the hearts there is. This one doesn't seem as natural. And now that you think of it, the way you extracted from the world between the death and the living was it manifested through crystals inside your your own body, and Castiel had to remove it from there. Well, I take the heart and press it inside my chest and pump. One second level spell slot in it. Uh, you <laughs> uh, uh, use that spell slot. It goes through a little bit, and then it stops. I start pushing <laughs> uh, my last second level spell slot in her. It goes in a little bit more. Now there's uh, approximately two inches inside her derma. Are you telling me I just did heart surgery because I was stupid? Uh, I have uh, two other uh, first level spell slots. I'm just pumping everything I have. I'm also pumping. Yeah, yeah with like... three inches with everything you have. Two levels of first level. Funny one, man, two if you have any spare level. energy left, you have to Four push. inches. I will require some sort of payment. I'm quite spent. Sure, you can take pieces. me on a date. Shush. Beautiful. <clears throat> Oh. Two second level spells. Yeah. Two second levels. Two sef spells. second level. Now it's six inches and it's barely a third in. This is not gonna work. Well, uh. I, that usually works. I don't know what happened. I, Performance uh, issues? Uh, never. Yeah. Never. Jen, uh, I don't think we're adequately prepared to help you do this heart transplant. I'm. How we get it out? Okay, oh, I think, yeah, shit. I, she's not like halfway with the heart now, forever stuck in her chest. I don't know. 
<laughs> it looks like it. You can try to do something. Do something else. I take the chime of opening I have. Put it towards my chest. This is so crazy and so stupid, but please open and receive my art. My grandma's art. Ding! <laughs> uh, and as you do that, your chest opens and you see your beating heart pushing your grandma's heart out outside. outside. <laughs> It's not compatible, Jen. We are not thinking logically. Can this I try is... to catch the heart? Yes. <laughs> uh, sleight of hand. But I have it in my hand. It, it pops. It pops. Okay. Shit. Natural one. <laughs> it falls on the ground. <laughs> this is a magical item. We need somebody with uh, knowledge. I think your grandmother knows how. Do you think she... she will keep it for herself or give it back? I... She will definitely not give it back, Jen. See? But. Take the what do you want thing. us to do right That's now? That's it! It's lost forever! Let's go! <laughs> oh, so you want to just put in your bed and see if you can find the anything. heart? What about your father? No, I didn't say that. Let's give it to her and that's that. If it's not compatible. How about we just... I, I feel like we worked a lot tonight. Nice to meet you, by the way. How about we just relax for a second? Maybe I sing some songs. Maybe we go to the coven. Um, enjoy the night, you know, drink some wine, maybe dance, take you on that date. You never know. The night is still young, right? We Am I right? Huh. I mean, you seem quite distressed. You, you could do a vacation, actually. <laughs> you, you are, you seem internally fucked. I mean, yeah. you. Do you want to externally house. fuck him as well? Yeah, we are point. so doomed. So much suffering be behind those eyes. But you know, there's joy, there's laughter, and uh, we need to enjoy life. Come on! I'm sorry I brought him here. It's I just had to cling on him. The traditional <laughs> saying is not you, it's me. Let's, let's go down. We've wasted time. We've wasted energy. We've... So I, I, I want to do one more thing. And okay. as if everyone is leaving, I'm alone in this room. I kneel, close my eyes, put my palms together, and say, please, obscure, tell me what to do, guide me, because I don't know. I'm so lost, and I just don't want this art to go into the very incapable, murderous hands of my grandmother. Please. Uh, give me a religion. Am I still blessed? Yes. Uh, I mean, it's, did you use something with concentration? It's, it's, no, I think it's been like one minute. But it's, it's been it's okay. been okay. more than one minute. Natural twenty for a total of twenty-two. Yeah. Okay, wow. wait for for a total of twenty-two. See again the wording. See again the wording. How you said. I forgot what I said. Uh, you are lost. You. I was lost. What to do with my. I can add more stuff on you it. You don't so want to the... give this heart to your mother and grandmother. Please tell me how to to mend this art to my being, to my person. How to become a whole. Uh, you start seizing. I start seizing. Uh, and you see something. You see uh, flesh, silver, blood, your cavity. The heart, flesh, silver, blood, your heart being replaced by this one, and then your mother's, uh, your grandmother's uh, face. It ends, She's and you wake right. up. My grandma ends? The seizing ends, and you wake up. So we have to mend it with silver. Jen, wake up. You almost died inside. You, you almost died at the... my hands because we didn't know what we are supposed to do. I don't want to. Let's go and talk to your grandmother. Because that always works. We do not know how to do this, Jen. I just Maybe got the if vision. you promise her that you are going to help her lineage, she will maybe give you the I heart. don't want to help her murderous lineage to kill more you people. don't have to, you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> I think she will want some proof of my loyalty. Uh, 
uh, you see his hand and his chest and he's already just slouch. I don't know how to help you, Jen. I just got this vision from Obscuro. Maybe you can help me interpret it. Okay, so flesh, silver, blood, my grandma. Flesh, silver, blood, my grandma. In this rotation. Does anything? No, nothing comes to mind. Uh, religion check. Nine. Uh, five plus whatever I have on religion. Which um, is not that much because... Yeah. You know it has to do something with the ritual and uh, the key elements should be those. The Flesh, silver, blood, and the grandmother. Do you have Cresty digitation? No, I don't. Plus, your grandmother already saw us covered in blood. Probably the horny boy and case that are down are covered in blood. I feel like she already knows what happened. I think she already figured out that it didn't work. Well, she would be upset. She seemed to be smiling when I reached down, so probably it's gonna be one of those moments of Ah, good job trying. I told you she so. She was always smiling. It's creepy. It's really eerie, to be honest. Well, you know what's the scariest thing? If I give this to my grandma, do you think she will turn my father into a true dampier or leave him as a leech, a mindless leech that just wants blood? She won't do that, Jen. You are family to her. You don't do that to family. You see that for her, family is important. She's, she's not gonna betray you, that's stupid. The only thing that she might do is if she gets the heart, yeah, she will get your father back, but then she will start thinking about world domination. We can think about that later. Okay, let's... Or maybe we can talk to her and say, she's ready to, you're ready to take over the Eleanor family and become the new ruler of the blood of cultists, of blood, of death. I'm not... And this is like yelling, like full on chest without even I'm not Castiel I cannot do it nobody is Castiel thank moment, god <laughs> and in that moment Leo realizes looks at the uh, open uh, area and misty steps outside of the place and goes into the forest I'm coming down so as you all come down and uh, Leo misty steps into the forest I don't know that what that means you see Eleonor's wild face just smiling uh, wildly and broadly, showing her fangs glistening in the moonlight, and her um, spouse, Henry Lafebvre, just sits there thinking. He opens uh, his hand with a twist, and uh, he says the following thing that you're gonna find out after the break. Oh, <laughs> oh, um, no. See you in a jiffy. Like and subscribe, dear viewer. Like and subscribe. Not that I wish to imply you've been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a break than viewers, but all our efforts on this channel would have gone to waste, unless, well, let's just say your moment to like our videos has come again. The right viewer in the right place can make all the difference in the world. So, subscribe, dear viewer, subscribe and grow this channel. Welcome from the break, guys. We left off with uh, Mr. Fang, inviting you with a flourish towards his castle with the uttering Vre, uh, we, friends, uh, come to uh, escort uh, us to the castle of uh, the Lazy Moon. As uh, you know, the pure uh, moon approaches, uh, 
I promise you a night of entertainment and formidable acquaintances. Uh, so it's happening. It's finally happening. The thing I was employed for. Oh, I forgot about that. D'accord. We're leaving. We're Just coming. a small detour via heart surgery, but uh, shh. Uh, I hit you in the ribs, and I go hug my grandparents as I pull up. Ah, I missed you so much. Uh, Henry, your uh, grandfather sits stiffly as he uh, gestures towards something and your grandmother just smiles and whispers something in your ear. What is it? Me and daughter, you're more like me than I thought. Yeah. What is, uh, my grandfather was gesturing towards something. What was he gesturing towards? Uh, for you to step out of the pool. I, I was next to them when I hugged them. So okay, for the others to step out of the pool. And as you stand on the banks of this pool of the moon, the air glo- goes cold and the surface of the water begins to sort of shimmer unnaturally. Um, Mr. Feng again comes uh, forward and says, uh, fixes you with a sharp uh, gaze. Friends, you've come this far now allow us to uh, show you where uh, formidable beauty lies. And without any response, your grandmother, Eleonor, extends her hand and the moon uh, rays touch touch her uh, gaze and sort of this rippling effect on the moon intensifies and there's glowing involved and slowly the water begins to part, revealing a hidden staircase in one of the areas. You start descending into the depths and with each step, uh, Eleonor raises her uh, claws, red claws, as uh, suspended in mid-air, water hangs from above like a dome as you start descending and descending. This prevents you from drowning. And as you walk beneath the lake and um, you look left and right and past this strange pale fish that swim in the water dome. And you walk and you walk until you reach a stone gate, adorned with moons, the faces of the moons, bats and wolves. The sound of the, the water drips and echoes in the distance as the dark passage makes way Eleonor says, follow us, in sort of this, this low commanding voice, to the Blood Moon Castle. And with that, <laughs> the gates open, and inside, a cold air hits you. Do you enter? Well, this is what I was employed for, right? I guess, uh, <laughs> sure. I'm going to be the first one to enter. Oh, you enter. Next is... um... While we uh, go down the stairs, seeing how Eleanor uh, uses and in a way channels the moon, I try to mentally, hopefully, receiving a message, ask Lunai if if she has this much power to control you, the moon. Are you scared of her? Um, religion check. Yeah, no. How much? Well, that's a two plus five. Okay, you start. Stop blowing them. <laughs> Feathering to the energy, tapping into the energy that is the energy of Luna, the energy of your patron, the energy of the moon, and something cuts it, interrupts it like a shadow overcoming the moon and you hear it in your head now now chancellor um i told you before moon is the first vampire created go silent follows wherever my grandparents go i try to stay closest to them 
be like a barrier between them and my friends and acquaintances. Okay, so you step into the castle. Last one. Uh, Kate is the last one, and you go through flickering torches that cast shadows over the walls of this this Adon castle. You see again stages of the moon, from uh, uh, you know full sin to purest moon, and animals, stags, wolves, ravens, bats carved into the the stone. Um, then you you go through corridors and corridors. It's it's hard to keep up. But uh, you feel these expensive halls feel claustrophobic, but also grand in the sense the passages are very narrowed, but the ceiling is very high. And from above, you see um, you see the water peeking through stained glass. Something sort of draws at your energy beneath your feet. Um, and you walk and you walk and you walk and you arrive at a point at a Banquet hall. Um, banquet hall. And you see um, this grand banquet hall illuminated by candles, but oh. now it's it casts warm light. It casts warm light, and you see long ebony, a long ebony table with excellent seatings and exquisite dishes and cluttery and fine goblets, and the air is sort of filled with this. The rose, red rose perfume. And sitting at the table, you see four enchanting, beautiful creatures with excellent grooming and sort of mannerisms. Uh, they have striking features, sharp, and their smiles are very small. Uh, you start, you, you hear them from the distance, voices smooth and also a bit exciting. Um, you also see two elves seated, um, very excited, mesmerized, looking above with big, big, big eyes. Um, and um, and uh, as you pass on and on, you see... Oh, we don't stay in the beautiful place? Yes, you stay in the beautiful place and you get a bit closer and the first you see is a elegant uh, woman with short um, short uh, black hair with icy blue eyes and an icy uh, blue robe that um, match uh, and she says greetings what dances in the shadows and casts no light it whispers your secret beneath the sight and behind her, you see another um, another beautiful creature with like this mane of brown hair, but uh, uh, someone that wears an iron mask and conceals his face. And then beside, you see um, a woman uh, with blonde curls and a veil covering her face, but crimson eyes pierce through, and she's dressed in this like a uh, french style a uh, gothic um, uh, dress night dress and uh, past that you see a tall stocky uh, imposing figure with beautiful symmetric face and a scar across his uh, his pale uh, complexion with gold eyes they all start smiling and you see their teeth long and gleaming what do you guys do? Um, I feel like I should say something, but I, I don't really... I mean, I feel a bit underdressed for the occasion. Grammaire, <laughs> won't you introduce us? Yes, of course. This one, and she points towards the stocky figure that is the, the last you saw with the scar. This one is Count Maverick Thor. Uh, and he like comes and hello uh, adventurers and she has this this booming voice with long long uh, teeth that sort of pierce the sound how 
are you? Now this is what I'm talking about. Bravo, bravo, beautiful no, voice. No, bravo to you. And he sort of um, 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 kneels and does a flourish of, um, of a greeting. I kneel and do the flourish of a greeting that is even deeper. Now this is a gentleman, a true gentleman. No, this is a gentleman, a oh, true gentleman. Oh, I know. Gentleman. I am Count Maverick Torn for a reason. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, yes. Um, and uh, now, very exciting, says uh, Jen's grandma. Further on, this is uh, his wife, uh, is uh, Countess Isoldi di Torn. Uh, and uh, she says, oh, I, I think you pronounced that uh, a bit wrong. Is Comtesse Isolde de Thorn? Um, do you speak uh, par chance the old language? Um, it's not. So, uh, the no. The celestial count? No, um, so no in Nocte Concilium? Veni Viti Vici? No? No, that's just your This is Elvish. <laughs> Um, you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I think do. I do. <laughs> okay, you all do. Well, great. I can um, translate later. Uh, Excellent. Sure. And uh, she sort of uh, moves her head, her curls, her blonde curls, bounce a little bit. You see her eyes following you. Uh, may I serve you a concoction of my own uh, doing? It's uh Maybe later. Let's... Let's go through everyone. Uh, Further on, uh, your uh, uh, grandmother introduces you to Baron. This is Baron Victor Hallo. And he's the man with the mask. And you just hear him oh, breathing. Oh, are you my father? I don't. I don't appreciate that joke. How do you know that joke, though? <laughs> Baron Victor? Hello. Uh, hello, let me just double check. You went to Baron Victor, place. hello. And last but not least, you meet her is Lady Seraphine Valor, and is the first one who asked you earlier uh, what it dances in the shadows and yet casts no light. It whispers your secret hidden from sight. Chancellor. Is the full moon? Indeed not. No, the new moon, sorry. Could you say that again? Oh, I see, a thinker. I just... Uh, no, I, I, I wasn't just paying attention. Okay, what uh, dances in the shadows, yet casts no light, is whispers your secrets, is hidden from sight. Is it a wind? No. Hmm. I'll give you a little bit of a hint, it's in the riddle itself. Shadows. Excellent, I see you have a good set of genes, Eleanor. And she says, yes, yes. Uh, your grandfather, grandmother gestures with her long uh, fingers. Come here, come here. Is there, and I approach them and say this in a whisper next to them. Is there a powder room, perchance, where maybe we can go clean up a little bit to dress more properly for the occasion? Yes, of course, you can go over there. Or um, is there any here with uh, probably magical capacity to clean us a little bit? We seem to have been uh, caught in a bloody situation. Do, do you also want the uh, garments? And now that you look at Mr. Fang's and your grandfa grandmother's clothes, they're a bit they're a bit disheveled and wild, sort of like a gothic uh, grunge theme. <laughs> uh, but the others wow. are uh, to the needle dressed. Some uh, some clothing would serve us good, I think. I, I guess I would blind. Um. Sure. Would anyone like to escort these? Do you have a preference? Not blood. Usually men, but why am I too sure? Do you want Baron Victor Hallo to uh, to to escort you? No, um, we can just go. Just tell us which door, and we will. Uh... Uh, sure. Um, if you go that way and do left and you press against the wall, there's a hidden passage and you can go to my own bed chambers. We 
we shall do that. So I uh, just go. Uh, we move through shadows, slow and sneaky. This place is gorgeous, but the entrance is creepy. Um, I am Lysander. I mean no charm, uh, no harm, but I'd like to uh, perform for you with charm. And I uh, pull out my lute and I try to put on the best show of my life. Give me a performance and describe it. Okay, um, I uh, I start going at it strong, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and and I uh, I sing about I I try to take in all the details about how elegant they are, and also the main theme of the song is uh, having the opportunity to live forever, but how that leaves no flavor for pleasure. Uh, and how you need to enjoy the moment by risking it all, even your life. And that's a 23. Uh, they all laugh for enchanted. Oh! <laughs> and so on. And they all, like, it's a cacophony of laughter. And uh, Lady uh, Seraphine says, Leonor, you you spot this one and this one read our intentions very very clearly. I I just love him uh, and the co contest uh, just uh, we we may we it's he's very talented and very perceptive. Mm, congratulations for the best entertainment. We're very proud of you and uh, Eleanor sort of seems. Uh, to be thinking of something else. She's not paying attention. Well, shit. I can't have that. Um, I take off my hands. And I, it, it, it's like, I, I uh, while they were uh, uh, praising uh, my, I, I still held on the instrumental. And then I, I sort of go into the bridge of the song that focuses on her and the fact that her uh, mind is elsewhere. And uh, the question will always be, how can I make her happy? Persuasion again with advantage. 20, dirty 20. Okay, with the dirty 20, she turns her uh, head with this big set of uh, red locks and uh, watches you and she says, Wonderful! Now why you got my attention? Wonderful gift, Henry. You're uh, you're an excellent husband. And he nods curtly. Uh, it's almost like a the bow of a dog. Uh, even excellent. Sing some more. What do you have for me? Hey. Uh, more. Uh, you you want more? Uh, I uh, and then I go. Okay. Um, I turn around and I uh, start also dancing and uh, kind of going into poetry at some points uh, and I say my uh, the very best uh, piece I have about um, a guy that used to go to work and uh, that wanted to uh, put his dick in a um, mince, oh. uh, a, a meat mince, sir, I believe it's called. Uh, and how that a meat cucumber chopper. A cucumber yeah. chopper. <laughs> and how that cucumber chopper is actually a guy from work. Wow, what a good joke. <laughs> Thank you. you. She laughs. Performance. <laughs> With oh. advantage. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, dirty twenty. She laughs. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Uh, and uh, she sort of splatters wine. The others frown a little bit, but they join in polite laughter. <laughs> <laughs> and so on and so forth. Oh, each, 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 each are one of them. Um, she nods and she says, "Very proud of this uh, gift, Henry. You made uh, wonderful for our anniversary." I go and um, I take a bow and uh, quietly go next to him to receive my pay. Um, uh, Henry turns his head and asks, uh, uh, Oh, dear now? Is he? Uh, Is he final? Do, do, you, do you want more? I, 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 it's, it's been, been a like 15 minutes. 
Okay, I'll do an hour. How about that? I'm, sure. I'm kind of spent. Uh, we just uh, we we had a difficult heart surgery. How about you do two hours and I pay you Wait, four that. times? <laughs> Two hours and you pay me uh, quadruple the amount. Very well. Okay. Uh, he hands you already uh, twenty gold pieces. It's more than four times. Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, he says, "I I think uh, this. Uh, sorry, I think this should cover it. Uh, huh? Yes, yes, uh, very good. I uh, let my hair fall down and I perform my heart out." Wow. And as he does this, all the other guests are uh, mesmerized, uh, including the elves that don't make a sound and gape at him. Oh. Um, but in the meantime, you go into the, the corridor, you go press on a, a stone, um, there's a secret room that opens and uh, leads to this like gothic architecture dormitory, and you see a double bed. Um, simple, not stained, surprisingly, <laughs> with anything, and a large ornate mirror that reflects uh, the bed. Uh, and um, then there's sort of a dressing room that you peek through that's open and you see gowns and stuff. Well, we clean ourselves, open the dressing, and pick whatever beckons us. You know, pleasures the eye. Uh, it smells like old people. Uh, as you start rooming through, you see that all the dresses are antique and uh, moth uh, bit bites are inside them, like very big chunks. And as you search, give me all a perception. I'm still performing. Mine's right, a 10. Know. I'm still fighting the moths. 26. <laughs> you start f f fighting the little and moths. The dust. And at, at some point, you see a big one, large, uh, uh, the size of a humanoid creature, just sitting in oh, one Jesus. corner, what turning his head and no. says, Oh, ah. no, shit. <laughs> Is this a moth? Yes. The size of a gen. Did you bring lamp? With, with 26, I see that. Yes. What it's fuck? hidden be behind some robes. So, we don't pick anything. Um, you pick some stuff, but you see this. How do you react to this? Uh... I close the doors on it. <laughs> you almost, so you you almost catch my fingers in the... With the what is... So you pick some stuff on the, the way, and you close the door, and you still hear the sound. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, what is inside the... It was a giant moth. <laughs> what the fuck? What do you mean a giant moth? You know, it was a, almost the same weight as me. It was ah uh, okay? We're gonna need some big balls for that. Uh, you took two dresses. They're a bit eaten by moths, and one sort of costume that is more of a lady costume than a, uh, of a man costume. Okay, it has pantaloons and jackets. Hopefully it's a corset one, I think. Okay, we dress <laughs> in them. Uh, Leo starts uh, putting down his clothes and with a washing cloth, hopefully it takes off the blood and he... He's not keeping eye contact with uh, Jen or Kate and as he's looking at the wall or the window there is, it's like... There's no window, just the mirror. Looking in the mirror. <laughs> uh, do I see something in the mirror? As you look in, inside the mirror, uh, you see two sort of shimmering eyes, or maybe they're stains, you're not sure, and then a mouth, and uh, the mirror says, Now, now, who's the fairest of them all? Certainly not you, you're dressed in a women's suit. Ha ha ha! I never thought I would reach a breaking point in my life, but this mirror might be it. That mirror might reach a breaking point. Oh, look at this raven-head, uh, oh, scrawny-looking wow. woman. 
and we're gonna have a battle, aren't we? I think you found wits. yourself on a boat. Wow, I have Raven hair. Board. Can you be more obvious? Thank you very much. You I have Raven eyes too. And, and oh, small, no. and you yes, have because... an earring like a pirate. <gasps> wow, maybe I am a pirate. Oh, oh I can't pronounce the R. Ha ha ha, but good for me. <laughs> <laughs> you always do not impress me because I know the fairest of them all is Eleonore. La Fèvre. Uh, and uh, okay. you're in her rooms. We're, no, we're not here to compete. Sure, she's beautiful, she's immortal. Okay, we just want a dress and She's not are... immortal yet. Whatever. When she will be her. immortal, like pick from the... <laughs> Oh, look at this. Uh, you almost look like her, but... Um, <laughs> you almost look like her, but... um, You have a very round face, just like a baby. <laughs> No, you look like an oversized baby. Hey, don't pick on the baby, okay? What is it to you, Scrawny? What, what else? Are you that? jealous because you're round and you're oh. bigger than me? I'm not an enemy. Do you want to be scrawny? I cannot get I can offended. make you scrawny. I can just like what let me chip. What else besides, you know, <laughs> saying the mean and the rude stuff to people who peer inside you can do? Oh, you have a very stupid accent. Don't, oh. don't mind the mirror. It's there just you to You have a the... stupid accent, okay? Oh, don't, don't, no, don't let you, it you, get very, to you. you have a very no, stupid no, no, accent. No, if you do it like a bit more Slavic, probably you... Look at look me, Jen. Don't let it get to you. The, the mirror is only... Your clothes are eaten by moths, by the way. But can you do something about them? No, because you're stupid. No, oh, because what you're purpose do you have, though? If you're so smart, then you can fix mm. them. Persuasion. Mm. Let's go. We we both know 17. they can't do it. If you Come admit on. in a written letter that you are very ugly and unfit to wear Eleonore's dresses, sure. Can I break it? I, 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 can't, break it. Wait, I can wait, 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 wait. What wait. do you do? do you break wait, it? don't no, break it. Uh, you said something about my grandma, my beautiful grandma, becoming immortal. How may I assist her in doing that? Oh, she's very smart and she will tell you herself. Well, she already did, but she... You know, I'm stupid and you're so smart, I forgot the step. You're so stupid that you think you can fool a mirror who sees everything, including yeah. the most beautiful woman We're alive. talking to a mirror, come on, this is ridiculous. Why it has no purpose. It's not working. What? the fuck is actually this room? Honestly, there's a fucking well, mirror cupboard, there's a yes. mirror that has you no have sense You have toy. such a filthy mouth, you should wash it. With what? I don't care or what I don't know. Uh, 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 are you always discoherent? Are you Sometimes, flustered? maybe the uh -huh. charms is wearing off. Oh no. Oh yes, I have all the charm now. You would wish so. I, would. Uh, I just uh, take the, the sheets of the bed and then put them over the mirror like But she knew secrets You can, oh, and you can take the uh, coffin, you can put yourself in a private conversation with uh, her I And with the moth if you want to <laughs> We can do that I'm gonna go for an intimidation Listen you Shake it a bit You <laughs> And I saw <laughs> shaking it with <laughs> With Kate to suggest so You, yes, have, you dusty you <laughs> glimmering ground Fucking piece of silver. Uh, have you looked if, at yourself? Of course not. You're a mirror. You can't if, get this. Imagine Kate if you, you have <laughs> ten seconds to tell me everything you know about my grandma, I swear to God, I will break you. Intimidation. <laughs> Fourteen. Oh, I will tell you everything. Don't break me. Your ma grandmother is very beautiful, and she looks way younger than you, even though you have a baby face. And uh, she has longer uh, teeth than you. Not that part. And, uh, her... Like, non visual part. Like, you know, about immortality and other secrets she has. Like, what's her weak spot and stuff like that. Do you think me stupid? No, but I will. I think you, you're on the threshold of being broken. And I take my hammer and I swing it back. You know that this is connected directly to your grandmother. Oh no, she can't So hear what? Us. She's gonna be very upset that you destroy me. I don't think so. Let's test it. Maybe just a chip. <laughs> you know, like a chipped tooth. I'm chipping the mirror. Ow! 
<laughs> so it does have feelings. Look, you can look at yourself. Oh, how do you um, <laughs> As you point the interior towards it, it reflects a black surface. Huh. I'm making the little shape uh, shape go all around the, the surface of the mirror. Stop it! Stop it! It's annoying. Stop it! And if you tell me all the secrets, like important stuff, not the... Uh, your ma- grandmother needs the heart to, heart to be immortal. That's- I said it. Stop it. Yeah, but this one was obvious! Uh, yes, but you need to give it to her, otherwise she's gonna get violent. I think she's excited by this thought. <laughs> oh. Well, that's a problem. Other stuff that is useful, what's her, you know, kryptonite? I think your uh, grandfather. We should kidnap, Papa. Uh, I was thinking about killing. Uh, <laughs> mm, other stuff that might be useful. I think you, you annoying little bit of a granddaughter that is very incompetent and shakes this like an annoying person who is obviously stupid and poorly dressed. Well, at least I can put a dress on. <gasps> You're flat. Wait. Oh, oh good insult, first of all. But second of all, maybe we can try dressing the mirror up. She you was think, already covered in some... Do, do you think they'd enjoy that? But uh, just like trying to make them fashionable? I don't Why want to assume. Why is dressing a mirror the what? priority right now? Uh, it's it's not the... Okay, other I mean, stuff. What else do we need to do? This is it. I, I uh, break another <laughs> chip. I don't know I anything. Don't need... Stop it. Stop it. Put them back. Put put. I will fix them if you tell me more stuff. Uh, okay, and Leonor is coming over here. Okay, oh fix them. <laughs> Put them in the wrong place. How do you fix them? <laughs> <laughs> they fall off. Uh, you come back later. I put the dress on. Let's go. Uh, as you open, you see Eleanor standing outside. Shit. Hello. At some point, she you went have off. A very... If you want, you can follow. No, no. You have a very no, sure. large moth inside your... Uh, Wardrobe. I know, it's supposed to keep guard. What? Wasn't that oh. useful for you to tell us, huh? No, because I've seen you fight and I always want a bit of fun. Question, but aren't the moths destroying your beautiful gowns? This makes for perfect gowns with personality. Uh, uh, okay. You wear my pantaloon suit very nice, Mr. <laughs> Chancellor. Thank you. I usually do wear things that are not supposed to be nice nicely. It's more about the person, not the clothing, actually. I like your uh, dark side. You would make a perfect husband for my granddaughter. If you join the coven... Stop pimping me out! I can make my own decisions! You obviously can't. You take a lot of time to make decisions. You guys is really all cute, though. I... Let's back away from <laughs> So are we do joining the entertainment yes, or we what are we doing? We have yeah, entertainment. Oh, uh, that's right. Hello. He- Hello, and who might you be? Hi, I am... Uh, Delicious. Uh, sure, I've been told in the past couple of hours. Um, Wonderful gifts you brought me, Grandad. No, 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 I'm not a gift. I'll wave. Hi, it's against my religion, let's say. No. <laughs> <laughs> so Hi. you came to... Oh, so you won uh, multiple relations. You came to no, be part no, of no. the family? No, no, no. Um, okay. I was concerned for my friends, so I came to assist. These questions are personal Very and personal, uh, you, all say. you need to know that these are my friends. As, uh, as our relationship will grow and we respect each other and trust each other mutually, you will learn more stuff about me and I about you. But right now, we have to set a firm boundary between us. You're always there, in my space. You are in my castle. I was here five minutes to clean myself up and then you pop out the... It's been uh, more than half an hour. Your friend already sing all his songs that he knows. He keeps uh, singing and so on and so forth. I'm, I'm very curious to know which one you're gonna make part of the coven or not. What coven? Are we none. invited tonight here we to be part of the coven? Where is Jen's father? Well, he is locked away as uh, suggested. 
he is inside here. We transported him. So you have something for me? He she extends one hand. Mm, I'm not sure I want to give it to you. I'm not sure this was the initial agreement. The initial agreement was I save your father and you go get the heart for me so I can turn him into a conscious vampire. Do you want to make an enemy out of your dear grandmama? I thought uh, the most important thing for you was family. It is, but I cannot protect my family with uh, you uh, sort of, I don't know what you think you're doing, gambling with my I'm heart? I'm not gambling. You're I'm gambling. No, I'm not. I'm just being cautious because you're clearly irresponsible. I'm very responsible. Look, magnificent castle built by me with more two hands. Very res- I made you, I, I brought you into this world, sort of. If I, it wasn't for your poor grandmama and the heart that you're holding, you wouldn't be here. Well, I would have been brought to life. You're not my mother. Well, uh, you wouldn't have your father without me. I sigh. Give I me sigh. the, give me grandma the heart. Give I'm grandma too the late heart. for the dinner. Let's have the chat first and uh, we uh, exchange the art later. Oh, you're a feisty one. You want to fight over it. You really want to make grandmama an enemy. No, I, that is not my intention. Okay, let's go chat over the dinner. Why, why the rush of uh, immortality? Huh? It's Ooh, forever. Why the carelessness of your father? Do you want him to see it in this state more than he has to? But it's like uh, maybe half an hour, 20 minutes, one evening, what does it matter? Okay, it's your uh, father. My heart breaks for him, see? And the heart sort of shrivels a little bit in your uh, pocket, I don't know. Inside check. Is she lying? 19. Uh, she smiles and sort of it's very hard for you to discern what she's saying because she has sort of, sort of a poker face and the same wild smile. Would I all call it uh, intellectual curiosity on my part? What are our plans after having the heart? First thing, I turn uh, my son into a true vampire. And after that? Second thing, I try to sort of uh, strengthen our clan, our coven. And what is the purpose of this coven? To be ready when everyone wants to attack us because we're suddenly much more powerful. How do you plan to strengthen the coven? I would hope we by marrying uh, this young uh, man or maybe both you of them. You want to marry him? No, 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 you, 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 and uh, the joining us is the true vampires, all of you. But uh, aren't you forcing no, me thanks. to marry? No. Yeah, I Why don't think as uh, grandma forcing you, thinking as time forcing you, because we're gonna have enemies and with weak little bodies you're gonna have very little chances. You see uh, Leo looking at his hands that are trembling and you hear maybe this way I could be of more help. Leo, you want to marry me like this? In the pantsuit? Probably not. No, we're not gonna marry you tonight. Let's just put a pin in it. It has to be proper (laughs) and not in this pantsuit. That's not what I'm saying. What is this whole evening has been so... I want you to meet the other members of the club. Yes, let's go. Sure. Ale, on y va. Such (laughs) feisty, you very much like me. Let's go. And she sort of gets her uh, gothic gown and uh, swoops over incredibly fast through the corridors. You move a bit slower. And you come back to the ballroom. 
Let the wine go to your head, and I'll get to know you better in bed. Tum tum. Oh, you see that um, uh, Mrs. Oh. La- Lady Seraphim is all over you, and uh, after each verse, she keeps uh, saying stuff like, "You seem tired. Perhaps you need a rest." But I wonder what has a bed but never sleeps, a mouth but never eats, <laughs> and sort of gibberish like this. <laughs> Uh, um, I'm, uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, breathing out loud, he's, uh, he's sweaty, he's, uh, bloody, uh, from, from earlier, and, uh, he just go, no, uh, he just goes, uh, I'd like to lie down somewhere below or above, and I'd love to find someone for making some love. Oh, uh, persuasion. Oh my god. It's the real scale, it's so high up. Uh, <laughs> I uh, think you do not think your intention so high, but uh, what is so fragile that saying its its name is it breaks it? <laughs> I know that, I know that. A riddle of a riddle of a Lysander scrambles. Uh, you need a hint. Mm-hmm. You're not there. <laughs> You're not there. Okay. You're coming inside the okay. room. <laughs> okay. So, uh, could could you repeat that? What is so fragile that saying its its name breaks it? I'm gonna need a minute. Maybe you have more more luck with uh, contest over there, but don't. Uh, Forget she's married. Great. I'll, I'll, I'm, he he uh, takes a few steps back and starts thinking. Can't be glass. Glass doesn't shatter. Well, you name it. And at this point, you guys enter. Maybe it's an orgasm. No. What, what did you guys do to him? I've never seen him so concentrated in the past couple of hours, at least. Uh, so, uh, Lysander is in one car corner being concentrate, concentrated and consternated. Uh, the other uh, vampires and elves are, uh, are listening to uh, Count Maverick, the, the, the tall with the scar uh, one, uh, and he's telling a story with a big... Uh, fast and I was over there and the villagers said oh no spare us and I said you know what I've been uh, very graceful today uh, what about your neighbors and they said sure eat them <laughs> and I just went for it <laughs> and the others like oh, such an interesting story clap 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 you're so interested Count Maverick um, I, I'm still in the corner but... what do you guys do Uh, Leo just um, um, sits at um, on the table, uh, looks at the food. Is there the uh, package? Uh, there's no food yet. There's no food yet. Just very beautiful plating. Mm. Jen. Hmm? What is the plan? I'm out of ideas. I think every decision I make is the wrong term and I find myself lost in this labyrinth of wrong choices that will inevitably lead to the death of someone I love. Yeah, I was uh, close to having that uh, experience as well. I think you're thinking too much. You're not enjoying the present anymore. You should take it step by step. Look how much you've achieved already. Fortress of Death. Your grandmother's heart. Next step. Make my mother, uh, my grandmother, immortal. And healing your father. I promise that you meet him and you are keeping it. I. I foolishly thought that I can do that myself, probably, if I somehow manage to link 
this out to my body, but it was another error. Well, um, mistakes are bad ways to learning and all that shit, but I don't think this is what you need right now. Um, I, if I were in your shoes, I would try to, I don't know, connect with the coven, know more about these people that were part of their bloodline. I mean, I look at them and they have their personalities of their own, I suppose. And then they started begging, no, 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 with the forks. And I said, okay, would you prefer prefer with the uh, with the hammer? And they said, okay. <laughs> this is exactly what I they did. Are charming. Yeah, not so different from the traditional aristocrats. I suppose they live longer. So how are we related, Count uh, Maverick? Talk. You come towards them and ask this question. It's a uh, Breaking guys' conversation. Um, oh, uh, I'm fourteen cousin on your uh, grandmother's side. I, I think. And this is the whole coven. Uh, yes, you're not impressed. So I don't know. Team. I. It's, no it's just six people. We haven't had any marriages, and Eleanor wasn't up until very recent, fourteen hundred, four hundred years or something. Yeah, I released her. She told us, and also, um, I'm not. I was brought into this bloodline. I'm. I. I'm not an elf at an origin, but um. My wife brought me here. So, um... Well, you accept only couples in the coven? Um, of course. Why? Because uh, going uh, an insane amount of years without uh, copulating is uh, a thought that savage, uh, wild uh, creatures like us should not indulge. But what about Think. if you, you know, you're in the coven, you wait for like two to five years, and then you get married to another person that you turn into a vampire. Sure, this sometimes happens. Right, Lys, Lys, Lysander, you stop singing. <laughs> Lysander goes, silence, it's silence. Um, you see uh, Serafina, Serafin, sorry, uh, Serafin <laughs> nodding her head uh, across the ballroom. Ha ha! <laughs> you don't, I'm just not used to silence. That's my weak point, actually. Mm. You got me. She probably knows! Ha ha ha! And he starts like laughing with a booming voice. Everybody just chuckles. So, what? How do you want to be part of the coven? I, I know you're related to your grandmother. You have her genes, but the others? Your uh, the entertainment? Uh, yes, I, 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 I'm I, actually the tour manager of hmm. uh, him. Uh, so I'm managing his appearances and we split the uh, profit he receives. Uh, I, I receive 100% and she receives uh, 10%. Yes. I don't know, I don't pay you, but um, I'm very happy because you smell so delightful. I have a question. Yes. Before, And I also have a riddle for the lovely lady there, but she I'll knows. get back to that. Um, would, would you say that being a vampire is a curse? I don't know, we're not vampires here, apart from, uh, yeah, I would say it thickens the bloodline. Okay. Being a vampire is a race. Oh. Not a curse. Uh, being a true vampire now is something that Eleanor here did in the past and we're hoping she's gonna do in the future, right? Eleanor, what she does said, that mean? yes, yes. How, how do you plan on doing it in the future? <laughs> After you decide to give me the heart or I take it? After. You, I give you the art, how you will proceed. 
If uh, I start going bite people and do the specific rituals, they're gonna be like your cousins that I turned. If everyone would be a vampire. Not everyone, everyone I wish to. Do we also have to have food? Oh. In entertainment. So, let's just say hypothetically, if yes. a random human bard would want to turn, uh, would he be able to find such a service here? Of, of course, but he has to be worthy of the blood, connected to the coven in some way. You see your work connected by blood or by marriage. So, uh, <laughs> you also smell like a dog. Uh, that's because I slept next to one last night, but we'll have that settled. Um, okay, so say that, how about if this hypothetical person, who shall remain nameless... My granddaughter. Uh, yes. Uh, and, 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 and say she chooses someone that has uh, been carrying, like, a baggage with him or her. Um, that, that was sent by the gods. Um, would would the new curse override the the previous one? That's very interesting. I need to know. And she gets very fast, very close towards you, and you see her grimy teeth. Also biting her lip, a, a strand of red uh, uh, blood that she, she sucks on on her, her lip. I have to know, what's the curse first? What have you been cursed with? I, uh, I, 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 I get a napkin and, uh, I, uh, I wiped the blood <laughs> away. Uh, you had something. Very respectable. Yes. And she takes the napkin with her teeth and throws it. Now, what's the curse? That had my initials on it. Um, oh, I just, I'm just, uh, I was just wondering. You know, I, it's uh, hypothetical. I, I'm working on a novel and, uh, I, I just wanted to know how, how this uh, thing could work. It's sweet, no? How he's scared all of the sudden. Scared? And uh, everybody yeah. starts laughing. <laughs> oh, I once met a woman that never had the uh, orgasm in her life. I, I, I did not falter in, in, in face of that challenge. And neither will I uh, falter in the, in the front of this one. Uh, so, just a random curse, uh, just to uh, say you were uh, with leptomania, that, uh, that could be a curse. Oh, the curse of the stealer. Mm -hmm. Very, very strong curse. Yes, uh, and, 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 and what... Or, or one could have a curse that make you smell like dog. All, all of, all day long can you now, smell like dog. With all due respect. Yes. I assure you that if you give me a sponge bath, I will smell excellently afterwards. Me, personally? Harry, love, what do you think about this? And he starts frowning on the other side of the room. I messed that one up. Um, no, hypothetical. It's, it's all hypothetical, right? And she leans into your ear and she says something. Uh, she retracts afterwards. <laughs> Just not to spoil all, all of the fun. Mm -hmm. But let's do this, uh, this. If someone, let's say very smelly, gets rid of the smell, they would be welcome in our coven. Especially if they know how to entertain. Well, uh, I think... Uh... How about by show of uh, applause, uh, how satisfied were you with uh, my entertainment? Oh, oh, oh. Clapping, everybody! Oh, yeah, oh, oh, oh. So you even hear the um, uh, b b b the Baron 
Yes, it was nice. <sighs> so breathing through his mask. Um, could I get? Could I please? I am blasted. Uh, could I please get a uh, a nice bath, a room to lay my head, and uh, maybe we'll sing in the morning. Oh, so uh, the party is over and you all want to go to sleep? We didn't brought even the appetizers. Okay, then just let me have a bath. I, I can't... I, I it's, it's too much even for me. Sure. You're welcome to find a bath. And she points towards the corridor. Does anyone want to join me, perhaps? Uh, what? Uh... You in finding the bath or what? Oh, or inside the bath. Maybe the manager should go with me. <laughs> Leo? I excuse my awkwardness. <laughs> um, uh, what's the name of the one the, with the riddles? Uh, she is uh, Lady Seraphine Velour. Seraphine Velour. Uh, she's not married, right? Mm, you didn't ask. <laughs> you have to read the bit. That's not even You know, give me an intelligence. Uh, it's a 17 <laughs> with. I thought um, you were munching on a crayon, I swear. Intelligence. Ah, oh, uh, 16. So in this room there uh, are uh, six true vampires. Uh, Countess Isolde Thorn, Maverick Thorn, they share the same name. And then two female, two more females, two more males. Uh, one is Harry and Eleanor, and then is Lady Serafin with the Baron with the mask. Oh yes, and uh, they but already they, said... they don't have the same name. Uh-huh. You notice this? <laughs> I just go uh, as I I walk with the back towards the corridor with the bath, uh, and I say I bind with silk or leather tight. I bring you pain or pleasure, be it day or be it night. Mm-hmm. With uh, every twist, you lose control. What am I, this thing that thrills your soul? And I wander off. Uh, Say it again, I bind my... I bind with silk or leather tight. I bring you pain or pleasure, be it day or be it night. With uh, every twist, you lose control. What am I, the thing that uh, thrills your very soul? A whip. Close. Mm-hmm. Belt. And I keep trying. Uh, she sighs. <sighs> it's a penis. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it silky though? Like <laughs> <laughs> it twists and bends. She screws her eyes and sort of concentrates for a second, and she she shrugs it off and mm. walks. Lady Seraphim. Are you and the Baron married? Oh, I am of, often bittersweet. A parting of ways, I can free you from headache or leave you in days. Once I am finalized, there's no looking back. What legal step am I that says it cracks? What the heck? I turn towards the Baron. Baron, are you married? <laughs> It's divorce. That's <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> same. <It's> divorce. <laughs> she. Well, you can divorce in the cabin. Oh, well, that's very progressive. Don't get me started. <laughs> 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 you know, the, who was the initial one that was member of the family, and who was uh, the betrothed, the transformed? Uh, they both stare at you and they say, "Yes." Who looks like grandma more? Um, one has short black hair and the other one has sort of a mane of brownish red hair. 
The Baron has brownish red hair. I point my finger towards the Baron. That is the... Yes. And how come she didn't... Uh, fall in the ranks of the cover? Well, everybody likes a good riddle. <sighs> Breathing hard, not so much. I don't so know, much. I find them annoying. <laughs> Well, she entertains your grandmama, what can I say? I try to find the bath. <laughs> As you try to find the gap bath, give me a D10. A D6, sorry. Six. Uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. You dis- you start blooming from over the hallways, there's arches, turning, stairs, moving, and then you stumble upon, past the tapestry, a hidden passage. Uh, and you go towards a, a hidden room. Roll me a d12. Four. Excellent. Oh, uh, shit. You stumble upon a bathroom. Nice. This has like this gothic uh, sort of uh, bathtub sculpted in uh, marble uh, and it's filled with cold icy water. And above you see um, you see the lake over some stained glass and the stained glass is uh, violet in color and sort of this dark violet uh, penetrates from above and it's sort of intimate you see some sponges and uh, you see a basket with something dark inside a basket with something dark inside yeah fluffy right. dark I, uh, I i i want to strip naked but i I, I uh, stand by with that thought as I walk towards the basket and uh, suspiciously poke it with my sword. Uh, meow. <laughs> you see like a small, small cat. Oh my god. Uh, not bigger than your oh. uh, palm. Oh. That's fully black. Uh, and she stares with an adorable smile and big, big eyes. Um... And and sort of a spirit, Mao. I uh, I uh, give her my my hands. It to... starts uh, jumping and crawling, <laughs> and goes over your shoulders, rubs a little bit, and <laughs> into your backpack. Wow. Mao. <laughs> okay. Well, let's hope you're not a monster that likes to eat penises. And you hear from inside <laughs> perception. <laughs> Very specific. For... 17. You hear, a ham. A ham? A ham. I am. You are a monster that eats Venuses. This is what you hear from your backpack. Oh, shh. Okay. Uh, well then, um, I uh, grab some food from the other pocket and sort of uh, put it next to where I believe the, the spirit is. Uh, give me a d20. Uh, 15. Okay, and also give me a perception. A perception? Perception, yes. Nine. Okay, uh, as you watch it, it's a small cat with big eyes. He starts eating, nibbling at the food you're giving it. Mow. I give her another piece of food. Mow. And the third ration. <laughs> Mow. How much can this thing? Where does it fit? It's a black cat hole. Um. Wow. Mow. I am darkness. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it says for a second, split second, you swear. <laughs> Imagine it, this is, I am darkness! Mau? <laughs> uh, <mom? laughs> uh, and, give me another perception. You said 14, right? Uh, yeah. 14. You watch and you you think giving it a bit of water and you have like this beautiful ornate uh, 
with water skin and it's no longer there. Oh no. <laughs> did did you happen to see my my water? No. <laughs> no. He says no mo. <laughs> um do do Okay. You will be named Never Cat. No. No. Uh, you will be named. I am darkness. <laughs> Whisper second. Uh, how about Whisper? I am darkness. Just okay, so me. not Whisper. Uh, would you like Mow. to be named Darkness? Yes. Beautiful. Will you by any chance turn into a beautiful female? Human female. No. No. Okay, then uh, please don't watch this next part. Stay, stay there. Give me another D20. 14. Okay. Uh, cool. I, uh, I put the backpack in a corner. I face it towards the wall. <laughs> um, I strip naked, take my sword to be uh, in, 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 in my uh, vicinity, uh, and uh, reluctantly I step into the ice cold water. It's very icy. You have to go me, give me a constitution to sit in there. Six. Okay, it's very like you dip your foot. It's freezing. It's icy freezing, and you cannot sit there. I am a man, a strong man. I jump outside. Oh shit! You hear proclaiming from your backpack. I am deafness. <laughs> and I am a man. I give myself heroism. Oh my god. Uh, and I try stepping into the ice cold water again. Okay, you have, without any roll, you step into the ice cold water. Oh, and I try to lower myself. <laughs> you lower yourself. It's stingy. Oh. It almost you know the burning sensation that you yes, that you get yes, from yes, ice. Yes, 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 yes. I have poor circulation on my mother's side. Is there any soap? Um, there's some soap. A yeah. Block of ice. <laughs> <laughs> There's a soap shaped in the in a rose, uh, the the flower of a rose. Uh, beautiful. I take it. I uh, I uh, emerge. I go like this, um, and then I dive again. It's terrible. It's terrible. Your brain is freezing. Uh, I'll show them who uh, smells like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> and I emerge. Skin red, uh, probably shaking like almost oh, no. you have a hypothermia. I am so struck, and I step outside. And as you go outside, you look for your clothes that you put in the backpack, and you don't find them. Oh my god! But you find the the small cat. Meow. Darkness, did 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 you eat my clothes? <laughs> I, I don't believe that. Uh, burps. Ah, and a piece of <laughs> <laughs> What? What is this? Are you like a cat of holding? Um, I need you to vomit my clothes back. Meow. I am darkness. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a small cat <laughs> jumping and now uh, runs from the, uh, I, I, from I, the I try to catch it. Shit. <laughs> uh, sleight of hand. Wow. <laughs> a naked bard. Who would have expected? Not me. 19. You catch it by Bar the tail. This will definitely be entertaining. Darkness, I really love cats. Let go of darkness. Let go of clothes. I ate them. I am darkness. So get them back, darkness. There no more. I, I am darkness. <laughs> <laughs> you start hearing <laughs> like this booming voice. I am darkness. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. Well, uh, did she also eat my armor? Uh, no. Just you look perception again. Give me a d twenty. That's uh, harder to chew. Of that cat, honestly. Thirteen. That's one pussy that you don't want, my friend. Uh, and a d20. Ten. This ones are hard to get. 
Mm. Wait, what What was the first one? So apart from, and you with that perception, you see apart from your rope, the clothes that you have, and the water skin, nothing else is missing. Are you still hungry? No. Could Burps again. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does she burp? A piece of string. <laughs> Oh god. Nice. I am darkness! You <laughs> are our darkness. Running again. Drop the friend. chambers. Uh, the catcher. Yes. Another sleight of hand. Uh, 15. Okay, master. I sit. You put me in the pocket, okay? Yes. And could you please tell me what you like to eat so that you don't eat my clothes anymore? Things. I like to eat things. I am darkness! You are darkness, you are, definitely, you are. Okay, uh, do I have by any chance a change of clothes? Let's see if you have a change of clothes in your inventory that I keep uh, stealing from. Uh, wow. No, you don't! <laughs> so you are left like in armor, you're like mm -hmm. a leather master. You can put and on a shield? Show now. You have a shield? Yes. And a javelin? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Count the shield. <laughs> okay, uh, do, do I see any robes around? No, the robes were eaten. Okay. Ah, uh, robes. Robes. You know, give me a percentile dice. Uh, both of them? Uh, uh, 100. It's a uh, 38. So with a 38, I would say no. You find a, be a small piece of a handkerchief. It's your own handkerchief with the initials. <laughs> okay, I uh, I put on my armor, my cold armor, on my uh, free skin. I put the handkerchief in my intimate area uh, between the plate and my balls. Um, I put darkness in my backpack. I take my backpack, dilute the sword, the shield. Uh, Au revoir, la voir, uh, and I go and look for some clothes to steal. Okay, you're on the corridors again. Yes. They stopped shifting. Give me a D6. Oh, my God. oh sh like In the meantime, what are you guys doing? Just take the rug. <laughs> Jen, what are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. I'm, uh, you know, dissociating. Leo? Um, Did they bring the food yet? No. We have the food. Jen. Um. What are we going to do, guys? I, I would like to actually take a short rest. Okay, so Jen starts sitting on, uh, slouching on, on the chairs, not talking to anyone for the next um, hour. Short rest. Case. How? <laughs> I apologize, you've been plugged in the middle of a pretty chaotic uh, moment. And I wish uh, there was a moment to breathe in all of this. I sense the touch of the lady on you. Uh, I don't think it was intended. I, I, I actually don't know. Um, it it just feels that I kept I keep being plucked into situations like these uh, by my own volition, I might add, because nobody forced me. But Luna did request my help to help you guys because you have been blessed. That's what she told me. I wanted to ask her help, maybe, because I've been feeling lost and alone. Honestly. I know the feeling of being lost and alone, and truly, the lady is one that um, can sympathize the most. Do you think I made a good choice? It would be quite subjective from my part, as well, <laughs> but I don't think that out of all of them, she, I feel, is the most humane. She really is something, right? She made a good impression when I first met her. I hope I did the same. But I mean, there has to be a reason she chose to talk to me. 
She did show herself to me. She pushed me into the pool, actually. So, <clears throat> half by my own volition, I guess. Um, I am glad to see you guys. It's been hard to trust people after what happened, to be honest. Because isn't the, isn't trust what brought all of this, really? Trusting wrong people. Yet, trust we must. No. For at a certain Tell time, me. we That's find it. somebody worth trusting. Yeah. How do we know they're worth trusting? We don't. That's the problem, we isn't it? That's always the problem. What if we, what if we don't have that much time? I'm in darkness. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I, uh, that, that bard definitely got himself into something. Or someone. Oh my god. The Maybe darkness. That's, that's a thing? I'm darkness. Oh no. I was thinking because I was watching you having the duel with the mirror. Oh, thank you. And, yeah, um, I do that one. I feel like uh, maybe we could try, if you are free, of course, in some evenings, um, to maybe I will. Um, uh, I am Batman! <laughs> I could learn you to turn that mockery into something vicious that could uh, magically oh. hurt. You have a knack for that. I can magically hurt people with my words. Oh. Yes. More than you My to words. Do. That would be, uh, yeah. That would be something. I think you know, I could learn from you. No. Come on. I mean, everybody can be mean. It's being kind that eludes us. Most of us, really. Isn't that right? But I... I don't even know if, if I can perform magic. I'd like to find out, but... You know, I never took that test. All that test was never performed on me. So, I don't even know if I have any inclination to perform magic. Well, we will see how we push through this night and maybe we see what the night has. We need to get out of here first. Yeah. I don't know what we need. I need to figure out and Jen needs to figure out and... Are you alright though? I saw you shifting at a certain point. You don't seem like the one to despair, but... You would think that after 437 years, <laughs> you know yourself and there is nothing that could break you. Is there not? There is always. Someone that finds a way to surprise you. Isn't it? Find that out recently, actually, so... You are a good friend, you know that. To Jen, I mean. You, you believe can be that? Good to someone, but maybe you are not with the person. I thought myself more prepared than I. I found myself being in the late experience. I have been helped more than I helped. I woke up in a plank in a river. I woke up in Jen's arms. With Grace's help back to life, I more than ever feel lost. Yet my hope is that being this lost is what will help me find right. Maybe you just need a tether. Maybe so. Well, I think you've already found it. Hmm. You just have to be looking in the right direction. Oh. That food is not coming any quicker, is it, I'm Lady Eleanor? I'm starving, actually. <laughs> um. If you want, we can start when your friend arrives. What, what friend? The one who is missing. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> let me, I'm going to try to go look for him. The manager goes looking for him. The manager goes, well, of course, if the artist does not perform, the manager doesn't get to eat, apparently. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that right in real life, too? Um, I'm going to go looking for him. Uh, okay. You start looking for him. You were on the hallways, rolling me a five. Five. Uh, five. <laughs> so uh, you start going under an archway and then going on a, over a staircase and then uh, behind the tapestry, and you're back in the bathroom. Oh my god. Uh, Kate, uh, D6. 
Oh shit. Now they're both lost. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, it's a one. Uh, where did you want to go to find him? Yeah. You were yeah. arrived at the destination. You are uh, you, <coughs> you. You find yourself in the bathroom uh, with the splashes and puddles that you left and so on and so forth. But opening a door behind you, a door that wasn't there, it's Kate. Uh, well, I'd appreciate a knock. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, um, when I got into Lunai, I did not expect a full moon this week. Wow. <laughs> Can you? No, actually, don't turn around. I'm going to turn around. Um, what are you doing? Why are you in just armor? What? I uh, I, I found darkness. What? I kept, I kept hearing something yelling, I am darkness. What's that all about? Can you hear again, I am darkness! <laughs> Coming from his backpack. She uh, is a... It's she. A she. she. Yeah, I, yes, I think it's... You are a female, right? I am darkness! She, okay. Uh, she, it's a cat. It's a cat. You it's found a cat, cat that talks. And eats clothes. What? <laughs> She uh, ate my clothes and my water skin. And the rope. And my rope. And my foreskin. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I was not expecting that. Um, Do you have any clothes? I need to find some clothes. Um, but I smell like roses. Go. I don't want he to does smell, smell like you. Uh, roses. Okay, I, I can smell the scent in the room. I will believe you. Uh, do I have my cloak in the backpack or something yes. like that? Okay, I will repay the favor. I want the cloak back, washed and pressed. But for now, just take it, cover yourself. What What do I receive? You receive a, a thick, dark cloak that uh, covers all your uh... All your everything, <laughs> all your body parts. That okay, so be I, I, I kind of, uh, I, I can put the cloak over my armor and kind of. Uh, yes. Yes. Or you can tie the cloak, and it will look like you have a dress or a, a, a long skirt, but um, <laughs> to be fashionable. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. I'll, I'll just. Uh... I'll just motion the cloak. The like, only problem is when you try to split and use your hands, you're gonna... <laughs> no, I, I still have the handkerchief downstairs. Yeah, okay, you're gonna show your that's, handkerchief. That's mm -hmm. perfect. Uh, um, well, okay, so, so... What do you like to eat? What do you mean? We, we do have a date planned. Oh, um, so how are you going to procure what I like to eat? Uh, I think we're trapped in this castle, so... No, we're not trapped. Why do you mean trapped? Uh, oh, you... this... Everything looks... Does everything look all right to you? Well, I have darkness. No, everything is not okay, good. Yeah. But... <laughs> I would love to meet darkness, not now. Keep her. Might be of use. Who knows? But... Um, I think we should postpone the date for... After we get out of here, first of all, second of all, um, the grandmama. I so, love it. Now I have something to live for. <laughs> well, you consider it. Were you considering just like ending your life, but naked? No, no, not, not, not on purpose. But not, it's okay. not like I. I mean. Okay, I am glad I have given you a, a reason to survive for a bit longer. I am hungry, and the grandmama says that we're not eating until you're also at the table. Okay, well... So I don't know if that means that they'll eat you and we'll get regular food, or we all get to eat something, but I'm hungry. So. Well, as long as I'm eating, you know. <laughs> uh, let's, go. Uh, let's go. Okay, let's... I don't even know how I got here, so... You exit on the door that you entered, and roll me a d6. Oh no. <laughs> it's a five. Uh, you, so you start going around, how you remember? You enter corridor left and bathroom, right? You do this exam, exact same steps, Wait, and you up. turn and enter the same bathroom. Damn oh, no. fuck, uh, bitch uh, ass guts. 
let me let me handle this. I have uh, architectural awareness. Uh, <laughs> I push the door forcefully. You push the door forcefully. Roll me a d6. Three. Uh, you push the door forcefully, and it's connected to the ballroom. <laughs> this is how you do it. Wow, oh, what an entrance! Oh. <clears throat> Bravo! And I might, I I might say. <laughs> I flourish the cape um, and motion it in my front. <clears throat> is that a new fashion statement? Would anyone? It is. But you should see how I smell. I hope I could smell how you smell, not see, but yeah. Oh, uh, you, you do the words right out of my mouth, honestly. Uh-huh. Nice. See, you're learning already. Oh my uh, god, semantics. So <laughs> um, yes, that's what we do. Lady Seraphin, um, the Fab Moon. Uh, actually, the, the the other one. The grandmother. The, the grandmother. Uh, Eleanor. Uh, Lady El- 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 Eleanor, uh, would you like to smell me? I smell you from over here. Who again moves mm. rapidly, rapidly, fast, is... and whispers something in uh, in uh, in your ear. She really likes whispering in uh, people's ears a lot. I wonder. Well, isn't that a bitch? Um. Apparently, I have a dog in the very fabric of my soul. Um. So. When do we eat? Now, we're eating now. Everybody, please take a seat. Yes, thank you. Uh, Get ready. And uh, uh, the the Baron, I I think. No, the Baron. Uh, Count Maverick. Enough of the games. Let's just start uh, eating because we've been waiting far too long enough. And she, he extends one hand, grabs one of the other elves, and snaps its neck. And then says, "Ha!" Oh and uh, blood starts splattering. Uh, Will you do the honors and do the other? Uh, <clears throat> asks um, Lady Seraphine. And Lady Seraphine turns and eyeing the elf. Then you. Then uh, Leo, then Kate, then the elf. Um, Don't you touch them. Wait a second. What? uh, You seem hungry. Perhaps you need a rest. But I wonder, what has a bed but never sleeps and a mouth but never eats? Never? Eats? Uh, Before that. That has has a a bed but never sleeps and a mouth but never eats. A vampire. Right. Never sleeps, and a mouth. Oh, no, she's a mouth that never she, eats. <sighs> uh, points her fang. Wrong answer. And she lunges <gasps> forward. Will you marry me? Uh, persuasion. What? What? I turn towards oh her God, and no who you suspect. ask? Will you marry me? Marry me? Um, uh, Jen. Her, Jen. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's uh, dirty, t- dirty twenty. Uh, so, uh, Lysander over here, as a vampire, attacks It's a river, Eleanor. <laughs> uh, she stops with uh, Leo on uh, on her neck. I'm having her neck in my hand. Well, this is quite a situation. No? It's a river. Now release him. <laughs> sure, you have one, but you need to also have the others. We, we could, we could, it, it, we, uh, I, we are leaving. You get up, you get up, you get up. This is not what we discussed it. Count Maverick uh, rises up and says, hold on, hold on. We're going to have a chase. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I'm going to give you five seconds to start. Uh, and as uh, Eleanor starts, one second, don't be brush. Like, let's running. just, this is just one. Two, three, uh, like the others prepare and uh, Eleanor tries to convince the others, but they're very much excited. Uh, what about this elf is dying for nothing? Uh, he's being sucked right now. And the other, the other has been also snapped into and uh, and uh, sucked in the meantime. Oh my god. Okay, to get I'm already running, I'm out of there. Okay, so yeah, Lysander I runs. Run. I start running. Kate runs. <laughs> Give me initiatives. Shit. 
to protect them. What was here? And uh, you stumbled upon a third elf sitting in the middle of uh, the 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 in front of a, a door that it has the same mesmerized look. And he's happy as he's looking at this grotesque scene. Come with us. You're he's, being eaten alive. He doesn't not. move. What do you do? Uh, do you roll for uh, initiative or do we... Roll for initiative. Let's go and start rolling for initiative. Yeah, such a bad thing. We use yeah. a lot of So, uh, 25 to 20. Uh, 24. Oh, wow. 24. Oh, wow. Jen. Uh, 20 to 15. Uh, it's 19. 19, Kate. 15 to 10. 13. Oh, wait, I had 16. Sorry. 16, Leo, and 13, Lysander. So you start uh, running and you stumble upon the elf. What do you do? I'm not running. You're I, not? I let them run ahead. Okay. And I'm trying to. Who wants to chase them? Exactly. Um, Maverick um, and. Uh, Maverick, Isolde, uh, the masked man, which is Victor, Victor, and Seraphim looks a bit contorted as she lets go of, of Leo. Well, I'm whoever runs or does something. I no, I'm gonna start the pounding on uh, Maverick. He's the one. Uh, no, sorry. Seraphim, let go of Leo or not? Oh uh, yes. Okay, so Maverick is getting ready to run. Yes. I'm gonna start hammering him. <laughs> How do you hammer him? Uh, I'm gonna um, take my hammer and shove his, uh, I don't know how to say this, his boneless kneecap so he falls on his knees on both legs. Okay, give me a s attack and then a percentile die. So we're on initiative turn? Yes. So uh, because I'm a dread ambusher, I have one additional attack. Okay. Uh, Hunter's Mark. First of all, bonus action. Go, Jen. Kill First your attack, 26. Brother. Hits. Second attack, 19. Uh, hits. Third attack, 14. They do not hit. And, uh, <coughs> uh, and I would like to make uh, a goblin attack. Okay, so one of them. One, one of them. Okay, and use my um, my how do you call it? My dice, my uh, supremacy, supreme, supreme dice. Yeah, that one. No, it's the. I, I, I forgot. Okay, so. I also have a. It doesn't matter. We know what we're referring to. Coding attack. So Superiority attack. dice. Yeah. Superiority dice. So. Uh, all of them, they land with uh, Hunter's Mark. Uh, just two. Da, da, the, the two of them that I had. Da. Da. That would be. Let's go, go. Seven. Thirteen first attack damage. And second attack. That would be fourteen. So in total twenty-seven. Okay. Did you sign the Baron or the Count? The Count. Maverick okay. and his goaded. That is an additional D6 for the damage. Which is additional two damage. Okay. And he. I know, goaded. He's okay. goaded. Uh, cool. So this is what Jen and he's does. He's marked as well. Kate. He's marked. Okay. Um, while running, because I had a head start, uh, I would like to find like the darkest corner I can conceal myself in. In the ballroom or above? Uh, I, I think I walk towards the corridor. The corridor isn't uh, as uh, well lit. Yes, uh, right? but in front of the corridor, then this is why I ask, it's another elf. What do you do? Like you pass him, do you do something or do you pass him? Uh, is the elf threatening? 
No, he is looking happy and mesmerized at the grotesque scene of uh, the two of the vampires just sucking the other okay, girls. Just, okay, uh, I did pay no attention to, to the elf and I find the most concealed uh, spot just to... So you step into the corridor? Yeah, step into the okay, corridor, yes. Okay, give me a d6. Oh no. I get into the bathroom again. <laughs> uh, it's a three. <clears throat> uh, where do you want to go? So you find a long, long corridor okay. uh, that also has like a, um, how do you call it, a, a covered, covered section that you can h- hide behind. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of shelves and uh, stuff. Okay. Uh, I need to find a place to, to cover, mm-hmm. uh, the darkest place I can find, yes. and I'll pull out my daggers. Okay. Just in expectancy. Okay. Uh, what do the others do, Leo? Uh, I look at uh, um, Jen and I see her. She's a. Uh, 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 did you roll me a percentile die? Uh, for uh, making him fall? Yes. For uh, p- pumping his kneecaps. 42. 42. Not enough. Uh, you you think you hit well, but uh, his bone structure seems uh, that of a uh, solid marble or something. Jen, we need to get out. <laughs> and he starts running towards the uh, entrance where the elf is. As, as he's running down the hallway, thinking of clearly getting to the path where they entered. Like, visualizing that as he <clears> enters <throat> the wo- uh, hallway. Um, Give me a religion check and or an arcana and a d6. Uh, fourteen uh, for the religion and four on the d6. Fourteen on the religion. Uh, cool. Um, <laughs> as you start turning and uh, running on the corridor, it it steers left and left and left and left, and you make a whole a circle you and turn. you reach the oh, same no. ballroom. Um, and as you have a fourteen with the religion, you start hearing a nervous uh, woman in your voice. No, you cannot go through through there. Uh, she's 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 bound to the castle, or the castle is bound to. <gasps> Now, now, we said Moon was first vampire. You listen to first vampire or listen to me? What kind of game are you playing? You have no escape. He uh, closes uh, his fist and mutters a few incantations as he opens a ball of darkness, just <laughs> expands all around him, and now he's inside the ball of darkness. And you hear, I am darkness! <laughs> <laughs> From uh, Lysander. <coughs> Lysander, speaking of Lysander, uh, what are you doing? Halls full of trickery and some tricky walls. I must face you and show you my balls, <laughs> and I cast protection from evil and good on upon myself, and then I run towards Jane because no woman shall be left behind. You fool! <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, running way more fast up than you. You insolent <laughs> So you hear this as you uh, spend half of your movement. What do you do with the rest? I do not stop because. Uh, I, I, I know she's just bickering, um, and <laughs> I, I, uh, I try to uh, get as close to her as possible with my uh, shield and sword ready for fight. Vampires are undead, right? Great. Okay, um, so... As you run towards, now is the vampire's turn, and you have uh, two vampires trying to uh, slash at you. First, with disadvantage. L- with disadvantage, uh, and also like disadvantage because she's goaded by uh, for a Baron, for the Baron. Uh, Lady Seraphine doesn't attack you. However, the, her former husband, the Baron, swishes um, uh, a claw and and a punch. Um, and he gets a 19, I... (laughs) With disadvantage? With, ah, no, sorry. It's a free... Uh, no, this, the first one misses, and then a second, as a bonus action, he sort of opens its, its slid from the mask, and you see his gaze, you see voids inside, and uh, as an action, he can force one creature to make a wisdom saving throw. I have, um... 
Uh, the target can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. Okay. Protection from evil and good. Uh, and you're, prote- you're uh, protecting... Uh, Myself. Okay, so uh, it's, it shrugs off uh, by this like sort of fiery magic. And he says, what the fuck? <laughs> um, next, second one is Conte Sisolde trying to claw at you with disadvantage. Again, a 19 and then a 15. Uh, so she hits once. Once. With second the- chance. Uh, is is my uh, uh, feet, and uh, I can ru- uh, use it once for a short rest, and she needs to do that again to roll again. Okay, Sorry. with disadvantage, I assume. Yes. And it's a one on uh, the dice. <laughs> uh, as like a time vortex sweeps in, and she sort of misses the first attack, she claws again, and she claws herself, and she says, Mendia. And uh, then she becomes invisible, and she says, Let's uh, see how you like this challenge along the way. <laughs> and uh, this is it. Wow. Vampire's turn. Uh, Eleonor just scoffs and says, Granddaughter, please sit here. Let's just talk. Don't make me rise up from here and chase you. I'm not running anywhere. But the prey is running. The prey? The prey. This how you call my friends? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, top of the round, Jen. Uh, it's Ma- did Maverick uh, hit someone? Uh, he, no, he didn't hit. His attacks failed. Against who? Against uh, your friend uh, Lysander over here. He attacked with disadvantage. Yes. Yeah. Because of the goal. Yes. Okay. And because of the other thing, the protection from good and evil. Okay. Um, I'm gonna. Does anyone else pursue them running? Uh, so one is invisible. Um. The the Baron attacked. Sorry, the Baron attacked. The Baron attacked. Maverick doesn't, yeah. didn't attack anyone. Okay, I'm gonna attack uh, the Baron then. And uh, you see, Solde disappeared. The Countess disappeared. Two attacks. And Seraphim uh, is is just sitting there. Two attacks with my hammer. Twenty one and fourteen. Okay, uh, 21 hits, 14 misses. Good call. 17. Okay. Uh, and I'm saying to him, run, you fool. Never. Run without you, fair I'm, lass. I, I'm way more fast off than you. I can catch up. I don't I'm believe po- you. You would be surprised. Uh, I swear on Obscuro, just go! <laughs> and I'm pushing him with my <laughs> movement. Um, cool. This is what you do on your turn, Kate. Um, I want to... Do I have any sort of visibility from where I'm hiding? Well, because of my globe of darkness, I don't think you see anything at all now. Yeah, you're not in the same hallway, you're back in the ballroom. Ah, you're on the other side. Okay, so I don't see the ballroom anymore. No, see. you're alone on the hallway. Okay. Um, and you hear silence from the occasional, apart from the occasional, I am darkness! <laughs> proclamation. Okay. Um, man, the choice is... Uh, I will try to peek my head out, see that there's nobody there. To open a door? Uh, or from your hiding place? From place? my hiding place and Perception. see... Okay. Uh, 19 room? plus 6, 25. You're sure you're alone in this corridor. You don't hear, smell, or see anything. Okay. I'm gonna go to the nearest door and try to creak it open, but just slightly, a and to, to peek. D6. I hate this corridor so much. I hate this corridor so much. What I is this Harry Potter? So Did I manage to bust the kneecaps of... I told you no. Of the other one. Uh, the process I'll die. <coughs> six. Okay, a six, a six, a six, a six, a six. A six. A 93? Yes, of the second guy, which is uh, the Baron has one kneecap uh, busted. 
Uh, very cool. Uh, you said a six? Yes. You discover a secret passage as when you open the door, you see like a round round room with nothing inside. But then with that beautiful perception that you wrote the earlier, you see like a narrow, very a narrow hallway that you can slid through and you land in, give me a d12. Too much randomness, much wow. It's a three. Okay, <laughs> uh, it's a three. So with the three, um, you land in a sort of um, uh, in a sort of drawer room with a lot of like trophies and chests, and is this huge uh, drawer that is partially open, and on the side. You see a basin, a pool basin, that seems sort of familiar. You've started your day with it. <laughs> okay, so I want to. Uh-huh. Can I glance in it, uh, or do I have to end my turn? Uh, you can. You can glance in it. Uh, if I glance in it, what do I see? So as you get a bit closer, uh, give me a perception. Uh, 17 plus 6, uh, it's, uh, 23. The structure is the same, but it has no water in it. And with that 23, as you approach the basin, and it has the same lunai runes and so on and so forth, behind you, you see, you feel more of a shadow squeaking from the open drawer. Shit. And your turn, Leo. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Um... I am there in the darkness. I pick my head out of the darkness and with a booming voice, very vicious in the way that it is said. I look who's the closest to me. What's the first vampire I see? Uh, the first vampire is Serafima. Serafina. Serafina. I look at Serafina Sera- and with this Serafine. booming voice, she, uh, uh, Leo says, You call this immortality? You look like death warmed over. Uh, I cast vicious mockery on her. Uh, give me a, a 14 wisdom saving throw, please. Uh, she has to pass wisdom for a second. Seraphim, wisdom. 14 is, is the threshold, right? It meets. Yeah, if it Barely meets. meets. Um, you took the joke well. Uh, starts, uh, tries to run on the hallway again. Uh, another, the hallway that you entered from. Yeah. D6. I stop blowing. Five. What's your intention? My intention is to get to Kate. So you do the whole ways twist and turn again. You go right this time. Right, 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 right. And you go on the other side and you pop up at the, the other door where the elf is standing by. She doesn't want me to leave. He was like... Uh, and you look at uh, Jen's grandmother at uh, Eleonore and she smiles. Yes, I don't want you to leave. <laughs> That's my turn. Uh, <laughs> Lysander. Lysander focuses uh, and tries to find a uh, flank with uh, Jane. Jen. Uh, Jen, is that Genevieve, possible? Genevieve, hmm? if you really want to know. Genevieve. Jen, it's fine. Jen. Flank. You find, Jen. yes, you it's definitely, you definitely find, find the flank. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, uh, I flank, um, and I attack with my sword. You attack with your sword. It's a fucking 11. Okay, with an 11. Oh, wait, wait, I have, have advantage. advantage. Uh, it's a dirty 20. With a dirty 20, definitely hits. Uh, you attack... Um, the Baron? Yes. Yes. Four points of damage. For four, four, four points of damage. What a mighty strike and uh, a heavy hit. And I go, ha 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 ha. Uh, he, he turns, <laughs> Run, the, the Baron, hello, he turns and says, oh, I can do this all day. Uh, okay, Captain. Well, great, because I just took a shower. I am your father. Uh, you sure you don't want to get married? I mean, this could solve a lot of problems. <laughs> Next, Jen, top of the line. 
Tell us good morning to you, I'm uh, trying to convince my new friend over here, Lysander. Please. I will shower you in poems. Please. I will write songs about Run your feet. Run away, you fool! <laughs> uh, and I'm... Uh, I'm hitting... Again. This... The other, the other fellow Maverick did something, or he stopped. Uh, they they stopped for a second. Ah, it, it was their turn. They didn't do anything. They're just smiling right now. I'm ready an action to <laughs> bust the other kneecap. If you they see do these something, fists, they bust kneecaps. Uh, cool, Kate. Um, uh, okay. I hear that shadows or whatever. I sense something is wrong. Um. I want to slowly turn around from the basin. Uh, what do I see? Anything. As you turn from the basin, oh, the moth is the you see oh, yourself. No. <gasps> but with a desperate look on your face, you're holding your knees and sort of cradling yourself. I'm alone. I'm alone. I can trust no one. No one. And with that, we're gonna end today's episode of Vim, the oh Tale of Immortality. No. You have to wait another week! Uh, thank you guys very, very much for uh, sticking with us. Thank you for your support and thank you for sticking to the end. If you like uh, if you like this show, please actually like, subscribe and um, and comment. A comment will do us very, very good. Share this video with your friends so you have things to talk about. And... Um, Thank you very much. We're going to find each other next uh, Sunday on 5 p.m. UTC on YouTube Dysylvania. We have a saying that is actually very, very true to what we witnessed today. It's a uh, good day, good, good night, night. Yes, and don't, don't let, let the vampires bite. Hopefully they won't. <laughs> I am <laughs> darkness. Woo! <Yeah. laughs>